you feel would be the best. Both tribes made their choices. Silas, Frank, and Teresa from Samburu, and Tom, Lex, and Kelly from Baran, hiked back to the original drop point. What happened next was a bombshell. Silas, Teresa, Frank, you guys are now members of Baran. Oh, my God. Kelly, Lex, Tom, you guys are now members of Samburu. Smokes. Oh, my God. I think the other team is coming here. Hi, what the heck? I'm Baran. Silas. Yeah, everything I'd worked for, all the bonds I had made. Two closest friends on the team are now gone. And I was like, I'm going to have to start over. Oh, man. At Samburu, the new members were not impressed with what they saw. How's the firewood? Do you guys have a lot of wood? No. It was obvious these people... Monroe, little Cassie. Wow, you turned into quite the young lady. This is my friend, Gretchen. Hi, Gretch. Hi, aren't you the one who got the public school system to put pure vibe sodas into the schools? That was me. Cassie's dad helped. He's head of corporate relations. But I am El Presidente. Wow, so you're, like, personally responsible for destroying the health of millions of children. Gretchen, I probably wouldn't put it that way. Obesity, diabetes, cholesterol, the fat of our youth is on your hands. Follow in it. Thank you. I had a very nice time. Keep it real. Don't. Yo, home slice. Can you chill on the Def Jam? Your boy. Yeah, you might want to hold on to something. Here we go. 15 feet up. 10 feet. 5. Whoa. Oh, easy, Ray. Rise and shine. All right. Tuck it in. Boys. Derby. Get the basket. You got to do a double tie-in on this time. That car goes. So does she. The door's open. Looking up. On the skid. We got five minutes max. What happens in five minutes? It's no big deal. This engine's failure. Good thing I only need three. No. Don't. Natalie. Do not move. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Natalie. I need you to stay perfectly still. I have to stabilize the car. Okay. Great. Please. This secured. Got it. What the hell? Shit. Oh no. Jesus. Joby's pinned. Oh, god damn it. Joby. I'm coming down. Harrison. You're flying. Marcus. Give me a rope. All right. Heading over. Taking over. Get ready to cut. Roger that. Hooked up. The door. Race cleared. Natalie. Don't you worry. I'm gonna get you out of here. This thing isn't going to hold. Ray. We are in red. We're going to crash. Natalie. We're going now. Okay. Got you. Cut it. Cutting sling. Yeah. What do you say we get you home now? I think that's a really good idea. California Institute of Technology. Caltech. Now. The Sendai quake in Japan was considered to be one of the five strongest since 1900s. It was so powerful in fish. And whipping. Whoa. And whipping. Tom. Are you here? Dog barks. Dogs are acting strange. Barking. Whimpers. Girl screams. Girl screams. Two. What are you doing out here? We were worried sick. What's wrong? I wonder what they're trying to tell us. Announcer. And now. Washington. P.C.S. Leading morning news program. The morning news. Good morning. I'm Ross Higgins. For our top story, we turn now to Cindy Campbell. Thank you, Ross. There's a developing story in Middleburg at this hour. A mysterious crop circle appeared in local farmer Tom Logan's cornfield. Elaborate prank or extraterrestrial phenomenon. We'll update you as soon as we have any further information. Either way, it's clear something strange is happening in that small town. Ross, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Coming up, more news after this. Cindy, you got a second. Sure, I want you to take a look at this for that strip club expose. But I'd rather stick with the crop circle story. Oh, come on. You know those things are just the hooks. No, I'm telling you, I sense something about that cornfield. Call it women's intuition or ESPN or both. I can tell when danger's near. Gasps out. My eyes. Cindy, it's sweeps month. Ratings mean everything. People want human interest stories. Like the one you did yesterday. A report on breast augmentation. It was just 10 minutes of topless women. I mean, come on, man. Uh, why are these so interesting? Oh, for God's sake. Size people don't care about this. They want hard-hitting stories and in-depth coverage and, and twins. I love parties that never end. Dogs that love cats and, and twins. I love burritos at 4 a.m. Parties that never end. Dogs that love cats. You think it was the Chrysal boys who cut that stuff into your corn? All I know is my crops are gone. The bank's gonna foreclose if I can't pay the rent. I got 60 days to come up with $1.50. I'm sorry. The last thing you needed was more. Blowing nose. Hardship in your life, especially after what happened to Sheriff. I don't need your study group. Uh, whose house are you at? Uh, one of my friends in bio. You haven't met her yet. Oh, Miss Popular. When are you gonna be home? Uh, I think we're gonna go late. Late like 9 colon 0 0 ish or late like all night probably. I thought we were gonna eat dinner together. We ate together on Monday. Didn't know you were counting. Okay, I should get back. Right. Oh, one more thing. I want to know about the final you. My dad cooked today. Uh, yo, what am I looking at? Exactly. I cannot remember the name of this thing. Uh, it was like a kimchi. Cr muscle stew. I'm used to make it. Uh, kimchi gumbo. Gumbo gumbo. Yeah, that's it. Do you have the recipe? Cause I'm definitely forgetting something. Yeah, I might. I can definitely tell you there's no pot in it. This healthy and organic jar of oregano. How much are you smoking? You doing every day or do you do it at work? Dude, can we not do this right now, please? It's been a long day. Uh, edamame. I'm pretty sure there's edamame in it. Let me find the actual thing. Puts, uh, what's Margo up to tonight? She's at a study group all night. Wait, all night tonight? Yeah, just got off the phone with her. She's got a... Never heard of you, pal. Never heard of your story? Now, where was I? Uh, uh, size. Thunder rumbling. Vacuuming. I'm open to suggestions. If you don't go and bite her, I'll kill her. Rainy. Four days after George had confirmed his own satisfaction that his wife was cheating on him, he confront. This is just bad writing. Just bad writing. So you know what to do. Just do it. No bad writing. I think that solves it. Oh, I found one of your stories in the trash, Mr. Rainey. I thought you might want it, so I put it on the table. Yeah, I see that, Mrs. Garvey. Todd Downey thought that a woman who would steal your love when your love was really all you had was not much of a woman. He, therefore, decided to kill her. He would bury her in the deep corner formed where the house and the barn came together at an extreme angle. He would bury her where his wife kept her garden. The garden she loved more than she loved him. Oh, shit. Oh, sage. Oh, God. From the sound of you, I didn't know what to think. Here, let me get this. It's my job. I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Garvey.
Darby. I really am. I'll take care of this, Mr. Rainey. Go on back to work. I didn't write this. Oh, I thought you did. No, it's not mine. Look, it says John Shooter right there. John Shooter, it's not me. Oh, I thought it was one of those, um, Huchimicalums, pseudonames, or NYMS. No, no, I never used one. I never used one. Oh, I can't imagine why you would. I mean, I'd behind some made-up name. No, no, this is Garvey, the man in the middle. Seven foot two, from a weird country called Lithuania. He's ugly as shit. Look at this. Go, daddy. This fella scares me. Yeah, that little kid from the Jackson 5, he scares you too. Oh, mark my words, clue. There's something creepy about that young man. Bobby D, where's Clarence? Nobody's heard from him. Come on, Tropics. Be, you're starting from Peoria, Illinois. This guy, what can I say about him? He's got the hottest girl in the world. I'm not kidding. Cannons, people. Big old boobies. The luckiest man in Flint. B.B. Ellis. Well, it's true about what they say about B.B.'s wife. She has got a tremendous set of boobs. Mate, they're too large. Oh, you're perfect. I don't know. I mean, she looks structurally unsound. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. At six foot five, solid, 8,215 pounds. Her pre-game announcer, her owner, your coach, your pop singing sensation. But most importantly, your power forward. Here's truly, Jackie Moon. All right, Jackie Moon always gives himself a fantastic introduction. Yeah, why not? Dude? Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's his team, his money, and his tunnel of beautiful ball girls. Oh, speaking of money, Lou, did you get paid this week? Oh, you lose weight, Father Pat. Thought Jackie. All right, guys, hold up. Pocket us. What is he doing? You know what? Okay, listen, I promised these fans a show tonight. All right, Twiggy, if you get a dunk tonight, try to break that backboard. All right, we'll get that on the news. All right, let's bring it in. It's showtime. Right, let's get tropical. Go tropics. Right here, right here, right here. I don't like it. Back, back, clear. That, that feels good. That feels. Danny, what are you doing? Nothing. Tin nachos. Get them from the concession stand. Not brought them from home. What? No, 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 no. Oh, come on. What? Travel. He brought nachos from home. Trying to run a business here. You can't call that. Jackie, you gotta dribble. If you're gonna move, what are you talking about? Basketball rules. Fine. I got season tickets. I can do whatever the hell I want. Oh, yeah. Well, I can do this. And this. And that. Let's go. Throws. You're well underway. And the big question. Blue. Where is Tropics leading scorer? Clarence downtown Malone. I agree. It's completely unprofessional. Dick. Blue. Can I ask you to please put out your cigarette? No. I like to smoke when I drink. Oh, chuckle. I want you to have this. Whenever you feel lost, this will help you find your way home. Can you remember that? Oh, chuckle. Alarm beeping. Beeping stops. Size. In English. Okay. Dash. Pop music playing. Dash. Panting. Engine revs. Hip hop music continues. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Fairmont. Dash. Gasping. I'm driving. No, you're not. Katie. Hey, hey. Get back here. Give me the key. Size. Please open the door. Dash. Engine roars. Oh, my God. Get out. You get in. Look. It happens to this thing. We're gonna be jobless and in debt for the rest of our lives. Oh, come on. Nothing's gonna happen to this car. I'm the Asian Jeff Gordon. I don't know who that is. Most career wins in all of NASCAR history. Please get out of the car. Sean. We've been friends for 10 years. Okay. You know I'm not an idiot. Dash. Size. Please get in. I'll go slow. Dash. Engine revving. Dash. The pop music playing. Dash. Giggles. Dash. Gasps. Katie. Watch the tires screeching. Sean. I knew Katie was trouble. The first day we met in high school, I was getting picked on a lot. For all the reasons we all get picked on a lot. Plus, I had just moved to the U.S., so I was struggling with my English. And I was on my way to lunch one day. And this guy who was like twice my size yells at me from down the hall. What's up, Gangnam Nam style? So I yelled back. I'm not Korean. Idiot. And I turned the corner. And I see this guy drop his backpack. He's getting all up in his face. And right before he was about to throw the first punch, Katie comes out of nowhere, steps right between us, and starts screaming the lyrics. The Hotel California. What? It's the art of confusion. Works great on stupid people, Sean, and that's how we met. Then I pulled him into the parking lot, at which point she revealed that she had also swiped the keys. Hashtag this town is coming like a ghost town, Sean. Player 2 has entered the game. Haven't you got work? Player 2 has left the game. The front door was open again last night. I'm not saying it was you. I know, man. I'm saying it was Ed. Right. I can't live like this. Look at the state of it. We're not students anymore. Pete brings no money into the house. He brings a bit. What? Dealing drugs. He sells a bit of weed now and again. You've sold puff. Yeah, once. At college. Do you? I've known him since primary school. I like having him around. He's a laugh because he can impersonate an orangutan. Fuck a doodle do. Leave him alone. I admit, it can be pretty funny on occasion. Like that time we stayed up all night drinking apple schnapps and playing Tekken 2. When was that? Five years ago. When's he going home? Hey, man, listen. Top left. Uh -huh. I was gonna say. Hello, I'm on it. ERM since. Nice shot. Thanks. Two seconds. All right, noodle. Out anything? No, man. Duval says he was holding. I ain't got nothing. Nothing at all. I've only got an in myself. All right, leaders. Listen, Ed. Since you're not working at the moment, could you please clean up a bit? And if you play the answer machine, can you take down everyone's messages? Yeah, it's not that taxing, is it? Writing something on a scrap of paper? No, but D-O-M. Come on. It was pretty funny. Will you do what he said? I ain't doing nothing for him. Do it for me, then. I'm sorry, Sean. It's all right. No, no. I'm sorry, Sean. Oh, oh my God. It's rotten. I'll stop doing M when you stop laughing. I am not laughing. Get that. You get it, Sean. It's me. I'm gonna be a bit tired. I'm a real boy. Five shillings for the possessed toy. Take it away. Other, please. Don't let them do this. Help me. Next. What have you got? Well, I've got a talking donkey. Runs. Right. Well, that's good for ten shillings. If you can prove it. Oh, go ahead, little fella. Well, oh, oh. He's just, he's just a little nervous. He's really quite a chatterbox. Talk, you boneheaded dolt. That's it. I've heard enough. Guards. Woman. No, no. He talks. He does. I can talk. I love to talk. I'm the talkingest damn thing you ever saw. Get her out of my sight. Woman, no, no, I swear. He can talk. Asps. He can fly. He can fly. Yes, he can fly. He can talk. That's right, cool. Now I'm a flying, talking donkey. You might have seen a house athlete, maybe even a super fly. I bet you ain't never seen a donkey fly. Oh, uh, runs. Seize him. Soldier 3. After him. He's getting away. Panting. Runs. Soldier 4. Get him. This way. Turn. You. Here. Ogre. I, by the order of Lord Parkeon, I am authorized to place you both under arrest and transport you to a designated resettlement facility. Oh, really? You and what army? Exclaims. Can I say something to you? Listen. You was really, really something back there. Incredible. Are you talking to? Oh, well, yes. I was talking to you. Can
our firearms with us at all times. Executive Order 319 of the Federal Code of Penitentiaries states that when inside a penitentiary, the officers of that institution have final authority. Gentlemen, you will not get through this gate with your firearms. Okay, now that the official stuff's done, come on, boys. What do you say we go find Dr. Polly? When did she escape? This prisoner? I'm afraid Dr. Polly will have to fill you in on the situation. Protocol. Correctional officers at a mental institution. That's a weird sight, if you don't mind me saying. It's the only facility of its kind in the U.S., even the world. They take only the most dangerous, damaged patients. Ones no other hospital can manage. And it's all due to Dr. Colley. He's created something really unique here. It's a hospital for people our society normally considers beyond treatment. Top of his class at Johns Hopkins and Harvard. IDs. Gentlemen, show your badges. Gentlemen, Dr. Colley's been consulted numerous times by Scotland Yard. MI5, the OSS. What do you mean? What do intelligence agencies want to consult a psychiatrist about? I guess you'll have to ask him. Marshal Daniels. Doctor. Marshal All. Thank you. Deputy Warden. That will be all. Yes, sir. Pleasure. Gentlemen, I had a lot to say about you. McPherson's a good man. He believes in the work we do here. And what would that be? Exactly. The moral fusion between law and order and clinical care. Pardon me. Uh, hey, what between what and what? Those paintings are quite accurate. Used to be the kind of patients we deal with here. Were shackled and left in their own field. They were beaten. As if whipping them bloody would drive the psychosis out. We drove screws into their brains. We submerged them in icy water until they lost consciousness. Or even drowned. And now, treat them. Try to heal. Try to cure. And if that fails, at least we provide them with a measure of comfort in their lives. We were napping all day. And they weren't doing they weren't doing squat. We worked really hard and suffered a lot. With no food and no water and stuff like that. And to see people out here who just don't take it seriously and be stuck with them it's painful. At Baran, Frank and Teresa suddenly had renewed hope. You know, all this happening today. Frank and I looked at each other and thought, you know, we're alive again. And Silas was desperate. Look at me right now. Let's go get some firewood. Frank and T are gonna probably vote for me. I thought they were with you. You said they were with you this morning. You were gonna get their votes. Well then, which one do you want to take? That's what I'm saying. Well, let's decide. Damn it. He may be a real nice guy in real life. In our tribe I don't buy his schmooziness. I'm definitely on the other side right now. I was on the good side now I'm on the bad side. At sunset, the new Sambara tribe got ready for their night watch. Why don't we each take a new partner? Yeah, why don't we each take somebody from? So we can get to know each other? Good idea. I would like to go first tonight. I'm gonna be the bad guy. I'll be first. First, with me? Yeah, this whole atmosphere of being in Africa. Everything's tough the weather, animals. Anything you go to do in Africa is tough. And then here you are in camp with a powder puff. Why can't we pop some corn? The first thing I had to do was just ask him straight up and get it off my shoulders and get the burden out. Well, you'll have to tell me a little bit more about your lifestyle. Cause I got a lot of questions to ask you. About what? Well, are you, uh, about me being gay? Well, are you gay? Uh-huh. Okay, I am. See, when I saw you, you know, we didn't know each other and I said, Hell, I think he's gay. And they said, Gay. I said, Yeah, I think he is. I said, He's pretty. I wish I still was. I will be honest with you. I can't say as I've ever known a gay man. If I did, he was still in the closet. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's probably it right there most. A lot of people know them they just don't know him. I got in trouble in college at a gay bar. I went in and didn't know it was gay. And he was talking about something. He had gone to a gay bar I don't even know. I really wasn't paying that much attention to him. You know, with Big T, you can't get mad about anything he says because he says it with a smile. And I mean, he's very funny. That's his life and I guess if that's the way you want to live it, have at it. But it sure ain't mine. And what's really funny, you probably got more in common with me than you do with them. Since I grew up on a farm A and D, mm hum, that's what I'm saying. At least we can talk about food food and iced tea, and country fried chicken, talkin cornbread and beans. Oh, you know what I was thinking about the other night? Cornbread dipped in buttermilk. Do you ever eat that? I love cornbread soaked in buttermilk mmm. My grandparents eat that all the time, but I never did really acquire the taste to it. On day 14, Dreamail brought a clue. For the next reward challenge, will you be the guide to show them the way? Keep them together don't let them stray. Their fate's in your hands, so keep them on track. Lock them first and bring new friends back. It said something about out. Someone was going to be the guide, and we'd have to do something together, and follow the leader type of thing or whatever. I think we're going to be blindfolded and they're going. Somebody is going to move everybody together. We thought it might be like trying to round up your group and kind of get them to do certain tasks blindfolded. Don't ask me how we got this idea. One person is going to have to navigate all the rest of us through a course and have to get us home. These are all violent offenders, but I mean, her people murdered them in some cases. In almost all cases, yes. By the time I got there, Mrs. Kendallman had sprayed the whole damn place, and she must have had a cold or something. I'm telling you, I won't eat for a week. So, what happened to your crops? Dad's gonna burn these again. It's contaminated. You don't even know what that word means. It's not contaminated. It's just tap water. Pour it in his bowl. It tastes funny. It does not. And besides, he licks his butt every day. I don't think he'll mind. Houdini, go, oh, run. What's wrong, boy? Stop it, Houdini. Look at where it's bent over. Father, it's not broken. Now, what? 
what kind of machine can bend a stock of corn over without breaking it? Can't be by hand. It's too perfect. It doesn't sound much like Lionel Pritchard and the Wolfington brothers. They can't take a piss without wetting the front of their pants. I don't think anyone else around here has had any problems. I was over at Theo Henry's farm yesterday afternoon, and he would have mentioned something. Why were you at Theo's place? Some animals around the county have been acting funny, and some of them violent. What is it, a virus? I don't think so. Father, they're more edgy, you know, and alert. It's almost like they act when they smell a predator around, peeing on themselves and everything. Caroline, breathing heavily. You know what? I don't think I'm ever gonna learn. What did you say? I said, next time somebody hits me, I hit them back. Speaking alien language, not if I shoot you. T.R.A. Moloch, wait, don't. T.R.A. Remember the silo? We pulled you out of that horror. Gave you a home. Don't throw it away for Han. He's not worth it. Whatever he lost on the deal, we'll earn it back. Double. We will make it up to you. Moloch speaking alien language. Coaxium is precious. Scum rats like you come cheap. Everybody, stand back. All exclaiming. What's that supposed to be? This is a thermal detonator. Clicks tongue that I just armed. That's a rock. No, it's not. Lady Proxima. Yes, it is. And you just made a clicking sound with your mouth. Please tell me this isn't your plan. No, this is. Yells. Screeching. All screaming. Get in. An M68. Nice, right. I love it. Whoa. Grunts. Lasers firing. On and GRA cheering. There's a starliner leaving from Coronet Spaceport. We're gonna be on it. We bribe our way through the checkpoint, and we're free. I'm gonna be a pilot. We can get our own ship. See the galaxy. All of it. We won't have to take orders or be kicked around by anyone. Ever. Both grunting. Thought we'd get a little more of a head start. Moloch speaking alien language. You're dead. Oh, oh. Hang on. Security droid. This is a secure area. You must have proper clearance. Stop at once. You must follow the proper protocol. Damn. That stinger's fast. Yeah, but we're faster. Right. I hope so. Siren wailing. Stormtrooper. Pull over. Stormtrooper screams. Shrieks. Han. No. We're not gonna make it. Oh, yeah. Han. I'm telling you. It's too tight. Watch this. Metal scraping. Grunts. Moloch speaking alien language. Bring the hounds. After them. Come on. We gotta move. Rowling. Man. Over PA. Do not join the line. If you don't have a boarding pass. No access without ID chip. All droids must be registered. Stormtrooper 1. Move along. Move along. Stormtrooper 2. Stand down. Do not resist. Stop struggling. Man. Let me go. Take his arm. Stormtrooper 2. I got him. Stormtrooper 1. Take him to cell 3B. Stormtrooper 3. This way. Come on. Keep moving. Hold it. Hold it. Hear so much about that thing. I was raised around people. Drifter colony bums, I believe, is the term. I barely remember Earth, but the older ones used to tell us about it, so it would never be completely lost, no matter how hard things got and they were hard. Those memories kept us going. Once we had a home, the Titan is our chance to find one again. I guess that's how I ended up here. What are they afraid of? So what did the human race ever do to the dredge? It's not what we did. Hmm. They're afraid of what we might become. Yeah, well, looks like we're becoming extinct. Wishes. Ominous music. Engine roars. Kale groans. Akuma. Kale. You okay? Akuma. Kale. Crackles. Shrieks. Screams. Set a course for the nebula. Imprison the boy. Jettison the girl. Akuma. Kale. No. Stop. Runs. Leave her alone. Shouting. Akuma, no, groans, grunting, screaming, indistinct chatter, Corso, Akuma's signal is getting stronger, I think it's coming from the slave cages, a dredge pod, what's in it, a human, she's mine, I saw her first, critic gasps, ah, all right, I'll take out the guard, easy, big girl, this requires cunning and deception, hello, ah, ah, I'm another thing, who's next, Nick, I don't know, we have to warn your friends, ah, well, which one is next, they both die in the collapse, I don't know, Nick, think, focus, one of them had to be first, even if it was one second before the other one, was it Hunt, or was it Janet, you gotta find Janet, I'm gonna find Hunt, okay, crowd murmuring, woman moaning, Hunt, oh, god, faster, go faster, both moaning, go faster, go faster, pick it up, pick it up, don't be lazy. Faster, faster, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving, move, oh, no, come on, wake up, no, we're not done, I'm not done, come on, no, no, are you fucking kidding me, cell phone beeping, I finished, like, four minutes ago, ever play donkey punch, dick, cell phone ringing, excuse me, miss, but could you help a struggling artist, get it, sure, thanks, have a nice day, let's see what we got here, browning, a penny, that's some bullshit, oh, damn it, great, sunroof sputtering, chuckles, come on, you custom piece of shit, come on, pick up the phone, come on, ah, where are you at, come on, burbling, whirring, alarm ringing, hunt on machine, this is hunt, you know what to do, hunt, listen to me, buddy, listen, no water, okay, stay away from water here, a fisherman found you, he brought you here. You were very lucky they came by. How long have I been here? Three days. Try not to talk too much. Oh, we found a man's wallet filled with pesos and a lot of US dollars. We tried to contact him. No, 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 he, no, no, no. There was no luck finding this man. There was a disc, a green square, a plastic disc. Ah, yes, yes. The disc was ruined by the sun. Ha ha. Yeah, you relax now. Get well. No, I, I'm in a few days. I need. Look at you now. No, I need my clothes. You haven't got the strength. Please. How much do I owe you? Please. You have to relax now. No, you have to rest. You need a few days. I need my clothes. I have to go. I just need my clothes. Elevator bell dings. Newscaster one speaking indistinctly on TV. Women chattering. Newscaster one, in national news, we go to WNN correspondent Daniel Shore. Hi, I need Shore. Wall Street panicked when stock prices appeared to tumble, at a rate reminiscent of the Black Tuesday crash. Officials suspended trading when it became clear that the losses were fictitious, and caused by computer pranksters when obscene messages appeared. I need my room key for 2,806 leaves. What is the name? Angela Bennett. Wall Street expects to open tomorrow, with its computers protected by great microsystems. Latest security program, aptly nicknamed the Gatekeeper. Reporter, what about that prank downtown? Pranks. Short cheating someone's bed is a prank. These pre Orions could have done serious damage to our economy, just as the actions recently at last. No, I'm sorry. Angela Bennett it checked out last Saturday night. No, sorry, you don't understand. I'm Angela Bennett. I'm standing right here. I didn't check out. No, I'm sorry, it's not on the computer. Let me check one more thing. Newscaster 2, on a lighter note, a drug raid in Detroit. No, Angela Bennett. She checked out last Saturday night. No, I didn't check out. I would know if I checked out. I didn't check out. According to the computer, you checked out. There's nothing I can do for you. Okay, I'm sorry. Customer, excuse the gifts. Go to the twins' house and get our special treats. Sweet. Give us the keys and we're out of here. You got it. Oh boy, oh boy. What's the problem? Rick, nothing. I just boy. Okay, geez. Did you say you wanted your car back? Or you wanted it impounded? We want the car back, please. Oh, I see. That's kind of funny because what 
what happened was, I accidentally sent your car to the impound, Rick, Rick, I know, I can definitely tell you this, you guys can get the car back in a few days, we don't have a few days, Rick, we need the car back now, say, how about a treat, there's Bavarian cream, yeah, that's a good one there, it's good, it's great, I have a lot of them, you know what, forget about it, okay, psycho bees, you got me, hey, fellows, who's the goose, mate, you're such a joker, pizza call, one, damn, chick one, where are Jesse and Chester, what, we're looking for Jesse and Chester, I don't know where they are, I mean, I'm, I mean, I know why the caged bird sings and everything, oh, yeah, why, because he was in a cage, and he was, I don't know, he had high hopes or some, okay, I dropped out of school before we got to that, all right, I should have stayed in college and gotten a degree in astronomy, god, I love astronomy, really, yeah, I just, the math though, it was the math, yeah, exactly, I love astronomy, too, and I got in the class, and it was like everything was, three squared times pi equals the root of pi, pi, yeah, and I just, like, wanted to look at the stars, oh, same here, exactly, it was so, I remember being so happy on the roof of our old house, just staring up at the stars, mmm, I want to do that again, I want to just, look up at the stars and take the time to, smell the, everything, cause it's like, do you ever have those moments in life, where everything is okay, do you know what I mean, like, just for one moment, everything is great, not since I graduated, no, but yeah, yeah, when you, like, catch yourself in a moment, and you're saying, wait, wait, I'm happy here, right, right, and then it just goes away, really quickly, gone, I know I've had a couple of those, I always forget them, but I know I've had them, oh, me, do, like right now, this one, yeah, like now, it's, who decides, clouds are stalking islands in the sun, wish I could buy one, out of season, but don't, hesitate, cause your love, won't wait, hey, oh, baby, I love your way, every day, wanna tell you I love your way, oh, gasps, singing, oh, baby, I love your way, every day I wanna be with you night and day, shh, so you've been up all night, I am picking up some very strange vibes in here, there of it, I just got laid, variety, did he dazzle you with his extensive knowledge of mineral water, or was it his in-depth analysis of, uh, Marky Mark that finally reeled you in, I would like to have been there, to watch how you rationalized sleeping with a yuppie head cheese ball on the first day, he's not a yuppie, he's the reason why clips knots were invented, well, that pales in comparison to the tweaked out little skanks you date, to hell with it, what do I care, what do you care, why are you acting like a jealous boyfriend on, let's up the stakes a little bit, come on, if you could make the world the way you wanted it to be, what would you do, if you could change anything, if you could do anything, what's the first thing you'd do, if I could do anything, anything at all, anything at all, I would touch girls boobs, yes, and maybe have sex with them, too, oh, agreed, that, do, okay, let's try that, where are you going, out, don't look at me, I'm not attracted to you, no, listen, don't bother, I've heard it all before, the world's gonna end unless we have sex right now, do we have time, all into, like, one area, like we were cows, suddenly, my name came up as a volun, why don't you try it, so, just basically blindfolded them, and just moved them around inside, forward, march, left, right, left, right, left, go left, 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 right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, soccer players, two, left, right, left, right, it was like an army cadence deal, trying to keep us in unison, and get us to do different commands, and tasks and stuff as a unit, sidestep right, go, one, two, one, two, my brother will be critiquing me, he's a first sergeant in the 82nd airborne, so he'll be critiquing me because there's a lot of stuff I haven't brushed up on, Baran, sidestep, March, which direction, to the right, sorry, I would say within 10 minutes we were, you know, a uniform line going around there, Baran, forward, march, your left, your left, your left, right, left, your left, your left, your left, right, left, Baran, stop, left face, there you go open your eyes, good job, cheering, come here, daddyo, you're very good, but when the tribes arrived for the challenge, Baran found that the blindfold exercise, wasn't going to be much help, first tribe to get their 20 goats into their own pen, at the finish line wins a reward, nonetheless, Baran came through, winning three egg-laying chickens, and a rooster as their reward, cheering, but when it was time for immunity, some members of Baran considered a drastic plan, Kim, this may sound crazy, and I've never done this in my life, I'm a, you know, I'm an athlete I go out to win, I've never fixed anything, I'm like, what would you think, if we lost this next challenge on purpose, it's going to be very tough for me not to win this, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I talked with Kim and all also with Ethan, that if we didn't win this one, that was okay, immunity challenge is a win-win situation, we win the challenge, great, we don't have to go to tribal council, we lose and I get to vote off my biggest threat, that's it, that's it, let's go come on, let's go, that's exactly what happened, yes, yes, it's over, Baran, Baran lost, sending them back to tribal council, without his former alliance to protect him, Silas was voted out of the tribe, well, there's been a lot of assumptions made by you guys, so far in this game, one of them is that in three days there will be a merge, you can head back to camp, I'll see you tomorrow, at the reward challenge on day 16, the young members of Samburu, realized their old ally was no longer in the game, Silas is gone, Silas is gone, but that didn't stop Samburu, from winning a picnic lunch, Bon Appetit, Samburu, cheering, loud belch, back at camp, strategies were once again at full throttle, because Lindsay had previous votes, which could be used against her, to break a deadlock tie at tribal council, Brandon hoped to shelter her, by attracting the votes of Kelly, 
Tom and Lex, I mean, I told the girls this is what we would do, I'll have to just to take a bullet for her. But on day 18, Kelly caught wind of the plot. We were talking about going to tribal council, and Kelly was standing on the other side of the hut, and we didn't realize it. So now Lindsay thinks that they know she has votes. I can't believe that Brandon didn't whisper, and she was standing right there. That may have just bleep me. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, there is something we can do. What? Vote with them. Vote with them? To get to a motel, or do we need to do it right here? Motel, woman, help me get my dress off. Hold on, wait, wait. Let's get to know each other first. No, we have to have sex. The world is going to end. I don't even know your. Think of the children. Think of the little babies. Let's have a drink. You look like you'd like a ten dollars for a beer. That is, don't you understand? We are all going to die. This isn't right. Well, of course this isn't right. The world is going to end. We have to have sex right now. Oh, hold on. Hi, NASA. Yeah, it's me. Exclaims questioningly. I'll let her know. That is good news. Now, thank you. World's not gonna end. We don't have to. Gasps. We're gonna live. Sex. We're gonna live. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I've gotta go. Can't you stay? We've been through so much together. Door closes. Well, that was one of the worst experiences of my life. Did you invent a new kind of bike? What else would you do? If you could do anything. Boob. No, we've done boobs. What's the next thing you'd do? Eh, well, what would you do? I'd get money. I'd get all the money. Come on. Where are we going? On a trip. I'll drive. I shouldn't be driving. But I don't care. I'm trying to hit bottom. Siren wailing. Here comes bottom. Pull over. Just stop. All right. Do me a favor. Let me do the talking. Okay. Greg, I think I'm gonna puke. Mark, do not puke in front of an officer of the law. Greg, don't tell me not to puke cause that'll make me puke more. Hello, officer. How are you? Well, I'm relieved you're not a couple of black guys. There's a much higher probability that I'd be jumping. Shoot you without provocation. And then I could lose my weapon. That's good. Glasses, silver, everything. Walter grunts. How about it? I'll take you to Chinatown for dim sum. Does it have wheat in it? I don't think so. Dim sum, dim sum to be do bop. Crowd, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey, Jonah, wake up, wake up. The ball's dropping. Old Lang sign plays on TV. It's okay. Oh, there we go. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Kiss Howard. Good night, Howard. Nat King Cole Stardust playing. Sometimes I wonder why I spent the lonely nights dreaming of a song. The melody haunts my reverie, and I am once again with you. When our love was new, and each kiss an inspiration, but that was long ago. Now my consolation is in the stardust of a song. Beside a garden wall, when stars are bright, you are in my arms. The nightingale tells his fairy tale, a paradise where roses grew. Maggie, can I have half your beer? Sure, go ahead. What did I used to say? Here's looking at you. Here's mud in your eye. Here's to us. You used to say, here's to us. Oh, babe, I miss you so much it hurts. What do you want to do? Tell him when he gets here. You want to tell him. You can tell him. She's back. She has another idea. No, no, no. I don't need this. Claire, Sam, I'm so glad you're here. How are you? I heard you on the radio. I told everyone about it. We already knew. How did you? Grace, the dispatcher? Yeah, all of Seattle knows. I was brushing my teeth and suddenly, there you were. I just couldn't believe my ears. I called my mother in Las Vegas. I said, mother, turn on the radio. That's my architect. You know, it's so nice when a man can express his feelings. It's wonderful. I wish I could express my feelings. So, Blair, is there a problem? I was tossing and turning last night. You know what that's like, Sam, because I realize I'm never going to fit my platters. In that refrigerator we ordered, and when I give parties, I always put in platters. So I thought I would get the Sub-Zero refrigerator instead. And the only problem, we have to redo all the cabinets. We're gonna will be into this wall. That's bearing wall. Sam, that's a delay. Claire, of two, three, five, six, twelve weeks. Full bell chimes, growls, gasps, my friends, gasping and shrieking, all panting. What do you want? I'm sorry I bit you and pulled your hair and punched you in the face. Apology not accepted. Now get out of my way before I run you over. Shrieks. I got a new dog. His name is Stitch. That is the ugliest thing I have ever saw. Yeah, yeah, you. Get it away from me. I'm gonna get a disease. Stitch gasps, shrieks, crying. Somebody do something. Oh, great. He's loose. His destructive programming is taking effect. He will be irresistibly drawn to large cities, where he will back up sewers, reverse street signs, and steal everyone's left shoe. Snarling. Frustrated grunting. It's nice to live on an island with no large cities. Gasps. Babbling. Are you okay? Rock intro to Elvis Presley singing stuck on you. Doo doo. You can shake an apple off an apple tree. Shake a shake a sugar, but you'll never shake me. Uh uh. Doo doo doo. No. Three. Uh uh. Uh uh. Doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. I'm gonna stick like glue. Stick because I'm stuck on you. I'm gonna run my fingers through your long black hair. Hey, over here, little buddy. Squeeze you tighter than a grizzly bear. Uh uh. Doo doo doo. Yes. Three. Uh uh. Doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. I'm gonna stick like glue. Stick because I'm stuck on you. Hide in the kitchen. Hide in the hall. Ain't gonna do you no good at all. Cause once I catch ya and the kissin' starts, a team of wild horses couldn't tear us apart. Try to take a tiger from his daddy's side. Laughs. When you're ready to give up, just let us know. Hey, we. Uh uh. Yeah. Fast tempo drumming. Drumming continues. Slurps, flames roar, audience gasps, applause and cheering, gasps, running, laughing, this is you, Mo. you were the first one to see that, he deserves to be free, mom's right, he's gotta go back where he belongs, so why don't you and me, go on down there, like a couple of real men, and say goodbye, Harry friend, flattering, Harry, since when does he have a name, since right now, howling, howling, Harry, Harry, whispering, there's someone in the house, what should we do, you stay right there, squealing, growling, TV announcer, good morning, Seattle, today Jerry's special, you're free, little Bob, go back to the wild, run, little Bob, run free, and now, your host, the toast of the Olympic coast, Jerry Seville, Seville, thank you, thank you, thank you, laughing, good morning, Seattle, God, I hate this guy, I'll Turn it off. No, let me hate him. It'll keep me awake until the coffee kicks in. But I sure am glad it's Tuesday. Isn't Monday the dullest day of the week? Up yours, Jerry. Seems old Joe was wrong. All right, this morning's paper. By no means front page news. Are you sitting down? Listen, late last night a Hawthorne Hills man discovered his wife lying unconscious on top of their car. After the paramedics had revived the woman, she said she must have been put there by a huge, hairy, man like creature resembling the legendary Bigfoot, Harry, who she had earlier mistaken for a mouse. Hawthorne Hills, a mouse, a mouse. I gotta find him. I can't go to work. When do we ever listen to silly old Jerry Seville? If there really was a Big
get very offended. If you eat and run, I'll join you as soon as I can. You promise? I promise. Cross my heart and hope to cry. Oh, tiger, purring. I almost forgot. How do you get to Green River? Just grab a passing sage coach. Okay, see you later, tiger. Adios, sage coach. Get it? Sage. Laughing. Oh, never mind. Various animals singing. Rolling, 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 Move M on head M up. Head M up. Move M on. Move M on head M up. Rohide. Cut M out. Ride M in. Ride M in. Cut M out. Cut M out. Ride M in. Rohide. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Excuse me, Mr. Dog. Snoring. I was wondering if you could give me some help. Clears throat. Oh, another tumbleweed asking me for help. Oh, oh, no, not again. Snoring, not again. Burping, whimpering, all laughing. Cuckoo clock chimes. All grunting. Mama, Papa, Hanya, are feeble. He's alive. Oh, oh, Arnold to go back to the Great Valley. Never go back to the Great Valley. Oh, no. Water. We forgot to tell them about the water. Grandma, Grandpa, we found water. Water. Where? Littlefoot. It's stuck behind the thundering falls. The flying rocks did it. They did. Which means, the water is trapped in the mysterious beyond. The mysterious beyond. We can't go there. It's dangerous. Of course, it's dangerous. But no place is safe now. We must go and free the water. But such a huge gathering place of water will attract other creatures besides ourselves. In the mysterious beyond there will be sharp teeth. Sharp teeth. I do not like sharp teeth. Oh, no. Their teeth are too sharp. Still, we must do something. We must come up with a plan to free the water. I have a plan. I hope it's better than your fire escape plan. Please. This is no time to argue. At least I had a plan. Stop. You're acting like children. Huh? We know act like that. I have a plan too. One mind's better. Do listen to mine. Finn, get out of here. Look, I'm sorry, but Ally's parents are going crazy. They got every cop in town out looking for her. Ally, you sent the police for me. And, yes, it is two in the morning. We sent the police. Thank God you're all right. Where you been? Mr. Hamilton, all this is my fault. Would you give us a moment, please? I'd like to talk to my daughter. Alone. Young lady. John, thanks for everything. Lieutenant. Lieutenant, you bet. John, anytime. You go straight home now. It's late. Sir, it's really not her fault. I lost track of time. Sit down. Door closes. Ally, I'm sorry, Daddy. And, I'm sorry, Daddy. Think you can bat your eyelashes at your father and get away with it? No. This time there's going to start being some rules around here. Ally, like what? And, if your father won't enforce them, I will. Ally, like what? Mother, and, you are gonna stop seeing Noah. She is out fooling around with that boy till two o'clock in the morning. It has got to stop. I didn't spend 17 years of my life raising a daughter and giving her everything so she could throw it away. On a summer romance, Daddy, come on. She will wind up with her heart broken or pregnant. John, and please. Now, he is a nice boy. He's a nice boy, but he's, he's what? He's what? Tell me. He is trash, trash, trash. Not for you. Ally, trash. And, he's a laborer. He's a woodworker. Ally, so what? And, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna move down here? Live in his father's house and pop out a few kids? Ally, yeah, well, I wouldn't mind. Don't touch me. You are not to see him anymore. And that's final. No, it's not final. Yes, it is. No, it's not final. You're not gonna tell me who I'm gonna love. John, love. Yes, daddy, I love him. I love him. He's not suitable for you, baby. Ally speaking indistinctly. I love him. You are 17 years old. You don't know anything about love. Oh, and you do. You don't look at daddy. You don't sleep. You don't do drugs. You don't drink. You hardly eat. What do you do, Edward? Cause I know you're not a lawyer. That's right. There are four other chairs here. Oh, so, what do you do? I buy companies. What kind of companies? Well, I buy companies that are in financial difficulty. If they have problems, you must get a bargain. Well, the company I'm buying this week, I'm getting for the bargain price of about one billion. A billion dollars. Yes. Wow. You must be really smart. Uh, I only got through 11th grade. How far did you go in school? I went all the way. Your folks must be really proud. Uh, so, you don't actually have a billion dollars. Uh, no, I get some of it from banks, investors. It's not an easy thing to do. You don't make anything and you don't build anything? No. What do you do with the companies? I sell them. Let me do that. You sell them. Well, I don't sell the whole company. I break it up into pieces and sell that off if it's worth more than the whole. So, it's like, um, stealing cars and selling them for the parts. Yeah, sort of, but legal. There, see, now it's perfect. Not bad. Not bad at all. Where do you learn to do that? Well, I screwed the debate team in high school. I had a grandpa. He was nice to me. He liked ties on Sundays. Mind if I, um, take a swim in your tub before I go? Not at all. Just stay in the shallow end. Edward Hello, it's Phil. I just wanted to let you know. Morse is set for tonight. That's good. He's bringing his grandson. He's grooming him to take over. Oh, yes. A very intense young man named David. Plays polo. Look, I gotta say this again. I don't like you going alone. Vivian singing I just want your extra time. Phil, I just think it would be better if you went with a date. Keep it social. You got to not talk dirty. Baby, you hear me? Yes, I'm here. What is that? If you want to impress me, housekeeping is singing. You can't be too flirty. Mama, I know how to undress me. I know a lot of nice girls. No, you don't. I just want your extra time and your kissing noises kiss. Besides, I already have one. If you want to impress me, find out what Morse is up to. You can't be too flirty. Mama, I'm on my way. I know how to undress me. M.M., yeah, baby. I want to be your fantasy. Well, maybe you could be mine. M.M., hum, you just leave it all up to me. Don't you just love Prince more than life itself? Don't you not, Vivian? I have a business proposition for you. What do you want? I'm gonna be in town until Sunday. I'd like you to spend bugle sounding. Oh, no. I'd better pack it in. Screaming. I love you so much. Write me. I love you so much. Rico, I'm gonna kill you guys. But, write me. Katrina, but. Orbit in five. Ivan S. First one there gets to fly. Both giggling. Locking it down. Man, wait, wait. Oh, no. Not Ivan S again. She's crazy. Ready, go. Yeah, woman. Deploying wings. How come you're in such a good mood? Uh, cause today I get to fly that. Pilot trainee Ivan S. Reporting for duty, ma'am. Take the number two chair, Ivan S. Yes, ma'am. Identify. Computer, Ivan S. T-325A. Clear. Laughing. What are you doing here? I'm the guy who's gonna teach you to fly this great. Assistant instructor. Should I call you, sir? Only when I give you an order. Prepare for departure. It's amazing. Us running into each other like this. Maybe it's fake. Maybe not. Heard about this crazy girl coming through the academy. Solid man. A little wild on the stick, but a natural. And when it turned out to be you, I just made sure that we would run into each other. Woman on PA. Roger Young cleared for undocking and departure. All right, Ivan S. Take her out. Yes, ma'am. Woman on PA. All systems go. Engine starts. In simulation, my supervisors could never
start drive in 54, man on PA, 54, dash 3, 2, 1, Xander, ready, steady, go, whooshing, groaning, groaning, yelling, we're going in, move, run, I may explode, dash, when I see that highway I could cry, dash, that's funny, so could I, together just bane out on the open road, piano, Audi, boys, is this the way to Nashville, honking, watch it, Mac, or you'll be getting towed, I'm in no hurry to arrive, cause I'll be tuned in 65, the next time I seize the open road, just a week of rest and relaxation, yeah, and the odd romantic episode, very odd, and it's California IA or bus, look out, you dirtbags eat my dust, from now on I own the open road, it's me and little Maxi, my pip squeak pioneer, they're partners forever westward, ho, yeehaw, yeehaw, could someone call a taxi and get me out of here, to Lindsay considered turning on Brandon, to save her own skin, I'm kind of in a no-win situation, I mean, do I go against my personal morals and values, and vote against Brandon, or do I vote with Brandon and Kim, and risk being the next one voted out of here, but at tribal council, Lindsay stuck with her alliance, and voted against Tom, the 3 to 3 tie the young members had been fearing, materialized, that's 3 votes Lindsay, 3 votes Tom, we're going to vote again, when a revote failed to break the tie, Lindsay's previous votes, finally came back to haunt her, Lindsay, the tribe has spoken, on day 19, Samburu was anxious to merge, we should merge today, I hope so, we may, we may not, should we pack, I think it's probably a very good idea, good point, anything we think we need, put in that basket, in case we have to haul ass, we can just grab the basket, there's only so much you can put in a backpack, yeah, these backpacks are very limited, we definitely was packed and ready to go, I thought it was like waiting on the bus, and the bus didn't come, over at Baran, the tribe couldn't sit still any longer, here we are, a lot of visitors since we were last here, yeah, you can tell, hey, a lot of visitors, and I thought that was just mud, laundry day at the old stream, good thing is, with only two pair of underwear, you don't have a lot of laundry to do, Ethan is holding guard for us over there, the other day we saw a water buffalo, maybe 30 yards away, which scared us all, so Ethan is holding his spear up there, and if he sees anything within any kind of distance, he starts making noise and letting us know, I'm definitely more on guard than before, lots of activity now and lots of elephants and giraffes, cause all the trees are seeding, so you never know, you never know where any of them will be, we thought we were going to have some sort of reward challenge today, maybe the merch was going to be today, looks like it's just another day, and we're going to have to wait it out, and see what happens, oh, my, on day 20, a clue finally arrived, raise your hand if you know how to do it, you'll need lots of patience to make it through it, the weight on your head lasts as long as your power, if you let your arm drop, it may be your last shower, we got something nasty, but there was still no mention of a merge, when the tribes arrived for the challenge, they finally got the news they were waiting for, the ten of you have now merged into one tribe, congratulations, pick a spot let's do it, survivors ready, and begin, in the first individual immunity challenge, endurance was the name of the game, drop an arm and lose immunity, oh, Clarence and Teresa outlasted all the rest, feeling he was vulnerable, Clarence tried to bargain his way to immunity, let's compromise, they want me gone, you're trying to trick me and I don't like it, after more than six hours, it came down to a simple game of rock, paper, scissors, paper covers rock, Teresa took possession of the immunity necklace, and promised Clarence she would didn't vote for him at tribal council, make a new flag, decide on a name, one that you'll keep for the rest of the game, reach into the basket to give your spirits a lift, with this housewarming gift, who, screaming, cheering, back at Camp Baran, the new tribe, shared wine and personal stories, I've never had sex on an airplane, I have, oh, overlapping chatter, Frank had a problem meshing with his new tribe, it was fun, but I wanted to get it over with, though, too, it's still daylight we got time to go get wood, let's get wood, let's get wood, but he had no trouble bonding with nature. Frank, see the elephant? He's coming this way. Give this guy room. The elephant just seemed to be swaying, and wagging his tail and looking. Beverly Hills 90210. Oh, every day another new adventure. Every mile another new zip code. And the cares we had are gone for good. And I'd go with them if I could. I got no strings on me. I'm feeling fancy free. How wonderful to be. On the open road. R-O-O. Goofy singing. You'll all do 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 do. Do 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 bum bum bum. Truck horn blows. Grandpa. Grandpa. Humming. Dad. You're gonna get us killed. Why don't you just give me the map? Oh, no thanks, son. Navigating's a big responsibility. Besides, you wouldn't want to spoil the big surprise. I'm talking you someplace pretty special, gosh, it's even better than I remembered, no, mommy, I don't wanna go, sobbing, yeah, but, tell you what, I'm just gonna wait right here in the car, hey look, you party pooper a girl's throw, very funny, well, look who's having fun, you know, I should go check on the train, wait, 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 hi, there, what are you, well, I'm a wolf, I've never seen a wolf, you are really strange, am I now, you're totally weird, I'm going to get you, no, look out, look out, okay, you asked for it, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, I'm really sorry, oh, e o o m a d mad bear, okay, get the snowballs ready, mad bear on the attack, the Canadian Express, Humphrey, the train is coming, okay, Humphrey, what's wrong with you, that, don't move, we can handle this, we can, okay, we're in trouble, guys. You guys like jokes? Good. So, okay. So two bears are eating a clown, 
and one of the bears says, Does this taste funny to you? A simple who would have sufficed, man. Watch this. One more, one more. Get up, Kate, get up. Where are those two? Why must they make this so difficult? I believe the term is high maintenance couple, sir. Stuction. Huh. Whoa. Peek, the dresser's coming down. Peek, the bomb. You got 45 seconds. I said we're on it. Peek, you need anger management. Boomerang. Bush, look out, kid. Peek, nice catch. Human. Mm. Bone. Hang on, Bush. Huh. Puppy, fetch. Huh. No, wait. All right, a flying dog. Hold on, kid. Hurry, the bomb. Get off me, verbal. Fight, take him. I'll go for the bomb. Peek, 10 seconds. You fight like a poodle. The book says cut the red wire. We're dogs. We're colorblind. Right, the dark gray one. Oh, no. Don't touch it. Come on, please. That's the one. It's what? Wow. You think you have one? Remote detonator. Hello, hello, dog. Oh, good. Come here, blue. Nice outfit. Come here. Okay, ouch. Hang on, good dog. Bulbous. It's a breakthrough. If I can only find a little protein synthesis and an electrostatic charge, it'll sustain the compound. Good job with the boomerang. You're acting like an agent. Was that a compliment? He never compliments me. Bush, call in a cleanup crew. Russian kitty thuds. Hello. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, little kitty, kitty. I have a treat for you. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, my God. Who left the window open? Here, kitty. I will tell you nothing. I may look cute and cuddly, but inside, granted, we can't get anything else out of him. We pumped a few things from his stomach. Pretty we're in Shangri-La and all I have is two shots. Everything I had was in that bag. You should have let me go back for my film. You're right, I should have. So where is he taking us? To meet the only living survivor of Totenkopf's experiments. What experiments? Ask him. Where is Totenkopf? Tell him it's important we find him. He wants to know why. Why do you seek Totenkopf? To make him pay for what he has done. His staff. He's asking for his staff. He says, follow Rana. The staff will lead you there to Totenkopf. Rana, is there such a place? He says now that he has helped you, you must help him. Of course, anything. What do you want? Kill me. Have you looked at this? There's markings on it like a ruler. And there's a moon and a star. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. A star. He wasn't talking about a place. He was talking about a star. Rana is a star. Ancient sailors used to navigate by using the night sky. They could determine their position by the moon and the stars. The Vikings were known to create maps for certain stars. The Vikings were known to create maps for certain stars. Latitude tables that required a key to decipher them. The key was called Jacob's staff. This one was safe. Ouchie, hating the chosen one, became an offense punishable by death. Morrison, all wells. Weekly, we are both ventriloquists, but now we re upside down. I swing a bit more. I swing a bit less, but we both swing if you know. Got yeah. Whimpering we are. What? Please hold still, ma'am. Here she is, Betty. Whimpers the chosen one disappeared last night. What have you done with him? Eh, funny. I thought you could tell me. Mm. In your dreams, we are. Mm. I like M. Feisty. Snickering. You disgust me. We oh oh oh. E o we oh p o e o p o. We droning. Squealing continues. Droning. We oh. She hit me. Betty. No. Go follow her. Then save her. For me. Sinister droning laughing. Ah. Chicken go cluck cluck cow go moo. Piggy go snorting. How about you? Gonna be an animal just like you. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. I am just a birdie too. Uh huh. Uh huh. Lemurs go sniffing. Ostrich go bat. Koalas go smacking lips. Uh, yeah. Hit it. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Cause I'm long and I'm strong and I'm down to get the friction. This is not good. This is not good. Breach. We're being flushed. Lush. Yeah. Ever been to a water park? I don't know. Flushing. Car horns honking. Who had flushed? Had. Yeah. Man. Back when you was an agent, you loved getting flushed. Yeah. Every Saturday night, you'd be like, flush me, Jay. Flush me. I'd be like, no. You can't quit on me. I saved the world. You tell me why I stare at the stars. School. Hop in. Hop in what? Remote chirps. Does that come standard? It came with the black dude, but he kept getting pulled over. Yeah. Silly little planet. I could rule the place with the right set of memory glands. Trapped like rats. In a chia pet. Computer. Surveillance MIB. MIB is locked down. Computer. Magnify. Times 10. Communicator. Frank. Jay. Where are you? Jay. We got flushed. MIB is code 101. Yeah. Who did it? Some hot looking biker chick. Want me to tail her? Stay where you are. I'll be in touch. Stay where I am. Easy for you to say. Fine. Kick. Neuralized. Not active. Civilian. What? He was here. You get the neuralized. Memory shot. But we'll find him. Don't put anything in our ears. What? What do you make of that? Found it in my pocket. Weird. Huh? Yeah. You're smiling. Is that the only deneuralizer? Officially. The plans leaked out on the internet. Computer. Internet. Deneuralizer. Computer beeping. Jay. Perfect. It's an old friend. Door opens. Jay. Ain't seen you in a while. Did you peep that drop top thing out front? My business is banging. Dog. You gotta check out the website. It's Jeebsy. Dot. Okay. Whoa. He's retired. Right. We need the deneuralizer. Jeebs. You're kidding. The meter's running. Jeebs. Do you remember me? Can't say I do. I'm good with faces. Hat. I think I'd remember that. Laughs. But since they were in the middle of the desert, there was obviously no chance whatsoever of finding a helicopter. Boris, look, narrator, oh damn, never mind, Natasha, quick, Natasha, what luck, great googly moogly, holy cow, what the, hey, listen, now, darn it, that's the third time this month, and I'm sick and tired of shopping for helicopters, boy, if I had a missile, I'd blow your buns right out of the sky, laughing, narrator, yes, Boris and Natasha were back in business, but they had no way of discovering the route our heroes had taken, hey, you can't do that, interstate one, just outside Red Bait, Oklahoma, darling, narrator, cheaters, oh, thank you, narrator, and high above our unsuspecting heroes, Natasha, state police, man on radio, yes, ma'am, Natasha, this is FBI agent Karen Sympathy, alright, I'm sorry I yelled, but you don't understand, I can't mess up this time, this time, was there a last time, tell us about yourself Karen, let's just say I've made, mistakes, look, I can't blow this one, the whole world depends on it, and I can't do it without your help, agent sympathy, you can count on Bullwinkle and me, we won't let you down, no, thanks, you guys, you know, I'm glad Cappy picked me for this mission, I think we're gonna make a great team, siren wailing, oh, no, narrator, and just as the sentimental moment had mercifully come to a close, our heroes were pulled over by two state troopers, and a cameraman from the hit TV show, made up stories from the real highway patrol, step out of the vehicle with your hands up please, it's okay, officers, I'm with the FBI, step out of the vehicle now, hey, rock, your face is all blurry, rocky, so's yours, this truck matches the description of a vehicle reported stolen outside Red Bait, Oklahoma, just a couple of hours ago. You are under arrest for Grand Theft Auto and for impersonating FBI agent Karen Sympathy. I am FBI agent Karen really gonna get a divorce this time. They're not. You never told me anything like that before.
was. I used to try and convince myself that you were married to someone fat with a mustache. Well, that is my type. Both laugh. Claire, come on, let's do this. That's great, guys. Thanks. You're welcome. Claire, honey. Man, get him. Charlie, drop it. Plate breaks. Man, get back here. You son of a bitch. You're back. Did I miss Christmas? Yeah, and New Year's. Henry, you've been gone two weeks. I couldn't get back. I tried everything. Even got drunk trying to trigger it. Yes, that didn't work. Um, I have to go. Now, I just got here. I know, but I have a show in two weeks. Jeremy gave me a space to work in. I mean, this place is too small. I can't work here anymore. And, Henry, my life doesn't stop because you're gone. I never said it did. Could we talk a kaboom? I blew up the baby gun. Adam, mama fall down. Mama, how'd she take it? About like usual. Mama sleeping? I'll kill Wayne. You don't want to kill Wayne. I want to kill Wayne. What's he doing? He's playing with his toys. Well, make him stop. Toys clattering. Make him stop. Why didn't I think of that? Glass breaking. Adam, humming. Adam, stop fooling around. Catch. Adam, that was a real rocket. Let's go for a walk. Adam, play ball. Nick, don't throw things at Nick. Catch it. Play ball. Crash. This is your last warning. Giggling. Okay, I'll give you one more warning. Glass breaking. Screams. SHH. It's not as bad as it seems. It almost couldn't be, could it? Well, I finally got him in his room. Tell him to stay inside and close the door. I did close the door. Door breaks. He just opened his door and he decided to share it with us. I break off. Diane. Oh, baby. Adam, put the door down. Sweetheart. Why don't you give the door to daddy? Adam, give daddy the door. Adam, I fix it. I fix it. Wait till the Vista Del Mar Standards Committee sees this. Maybe we shouldn't bother. It's just a mailbox. Little things have a way of becoming very big things. Patty, let go of the door. Adam, no, my door. Stop before someone gets hurt. Let go. Wayne grunts. Crashes. Chuckling. Crash. I fix it. Diane, don't fix it. Adam, just put down mommy's coffee table. Be careful, baby. Slow down. Adam, 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 Adam. Oh, Wayne. Gentle, gentle. Diane, not my antique chair. Glass breaking. Man, they remodeling in there. Diane, come back. Come back here. Adam giggling. Wayne. Adam, Adam, Adam. Sit down. Diane, he's on this side. Stop him. Dad, he's yours. Diane, oh, Adam. This is not a game. What do we do when we catch him? Wayne, Adam, hang on. Adam giggling. Okay, okay. You guys go that way. I'll go this way. Adam giggling. Wayne screams. Panting pie. Little guy. Wayne gross. Your mom baked you an apple pie. Thanks. Someone sat on it. I'm sure it'll taste okay. Your dad's got some new inventions. Reversible toilet paper. We'll call you tomorrow and have dinner. Okay, great. Good. Marvelous. Tomorrow. But I'm sorry. That's okay. Katie, welcome to New York. Okay, that's a Kona probably with kiwis and peanut butter cups. Wait, are the peanut butter cups all natural? I'm not sure. Are the peanut butter cups all natural? I know they're pesticide free. Woman one, it's not the same. They put other things in. Cashier, it comes off when they roast them. Woman one, roasting is the worst. Where they don't roast, they have 70% less death. Alex, sure that isn't pickling. Woman one, how can you work with this and not read studies? It's a rat. Oh my god, what's going on? Did she say there are rats? No rats. Woman two, that's not what she said. Man's voice, the entry matic doors are being upgraded to serve you better. Please use the manual doors for your entering and exiting needs. A head came up with big ears. There was a thing in the topping. What kind of thing? A furry thing. It's supposed to be health food. Woman two, I want damages. They've eaten after midnight. Come on, sorry I brought the wrong one home. It's my fault. I shouldn't have left Gizmo. We gotta find him. It's along here. There, that's where the water comes into the building. Give me video. Security. At least we can keep them from getting wet. Hold it. Get the hell out of there. Move it. Come on, move. Looks like I caught a terrorist. What's in the bag? Nothing. Yeah, let's look at that nothing. I wouldn't do this if I were you. But you aren't me. Be cool. You've been talking to my car. What? John. Uh, you'll see. Chuckles. Penny. Fire. Wrong finger. Penny. Careful. Sneezes. Crowd laughing. Chattering. Excuse me. Inspector. May I have this dance? Oh, uh, what? Sure. Yeah, you betcha. Uh, here. Let's see if I still know how to do this. Classical music playing. Laughing. Crowd gasps. Not bad. John Brown. May I cut in? Hello. Sanford Skolex. We were at Harvard together. You were? Oh, you don't recognize me. That's because I've changed. I was obese. Chuckles. Maybe you remember me better like this. Brenda gasps. Yes. Laughs. Laugh. Well, it's nice to see you again. Here you go. You look different. Chuckles coughs. Well, I'll go get us some champagne. Oh, great idea. Three flutes of bubbly, please. Mr. Gizmo. Chuckles will be right here. You know, Brenda. I'm not at all surprised you became such a renowned scientist. You were always the most brilliant one in school. Brenda chuckles. No, I, I was a hard worker. Skolex. Oh, I remember. I used to watch the way you wrinkled your little nose, concentrating on calculations. Brenda, you did. Skolex. MMM. You took my breath away. I did. Skolex. Brenda, dance with me. You remind me of a thing Godzilla once said. Whooping. Tell me, what will you do now that the gadget program is completed? Oh, oh, oh. Crowd gasps. You're done with the gadget thing. Come and join me at Skolex Industries. Crowd marbling. Woman, we'll be right here. Ahem. I could only carry two glasses. Oh, again top. Moshery. Slurp for broke. Oh, again. Ridiculous. That thing's garbage. Funny. Take it. Take the whole thing back. Well, now I have more of her. So, thanks. This is my gut. Everybody else has a gut. I want a gut. Oh, we're crying out loud. Fun. You can keep your rookies. Yes, yes. Up top head butt. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I love those. But they're your responsibility. You've got to show them how we do things. Hunter, we're gonna challenge you on all aspects of what we do. Power, speed, endurance, and teamwork. May the best mentor rookie team win. Ah, bring it on. Fool. Well, obviously Lonnie and I I will win. Let's do this. Do you know how to serve? Dude, I'm a star. Okay, we're in. All right, then that's the way it's gonna be. But if your guy or girl dies or gets hurt, and I have to carry them all the way back here, I'm looking over, and I don't know. At times, it seemed like he might have acknowledged, stopped and looked over. You know, there's a few humans here I wouldn't interact with. You know, but the animals, yes. On day 21, Teresa kept her word, and didn't vote for Clarence at tribal council. But the others saw him, as too much of a physical threat to keep around. Clarence, the tribe has spoken. But Lex walked away with two votes against him. Nine are left, seven of them will make up the jury. That ultimately decides who will be the sole survivor. Over the next 18 days, the members of the new Moto Maji tribe will experience the land, the culture, and the game in ways unlike any survivors before them. Join us as the adventure continues. Stay tuned for scenes from our next
and the ex Samburu members concoct a plan. If we're going to make a move, it has to be this tribal council, it has to be. I got the hiccups again. Hiccuping, laughing, hiccuping, it is funny. I can't even talk for hiccuping. Can I stop hiccuping now? Listen to it, it's synchronized now. I'm gonna make you scrub the whale for a year. All aboard. Next stop, Slaughter Island. So, how much did you pay to bribe those kids? Three shells apiece. You're such a dork. Tank, not to mention a failure. Laughs. When I become one of the Hang Five, I'm gonna come back here and crush your surf school. All your students will be mine, and they'll be happy. Laughs. Like me. We can't let him win, Cody. Don't worry, I got this. Screaming. Thunder crashing. Can't this thing go a little slower? Ah, uh, where would be the fun in that? We're passing through some rough waters. It's safer to go fast. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, all. Joe. Yo, Clux. Thanks, man. Almost lost my lunch. Say no more, under bro. I can hold your hair if you need to yap. Oh, this is just amazing. Can you believe it? I'm traveling to the trenches with the Hang Five. Ha, ha, oh, man. Somebody pinch me. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Chuckles. Back, back, back on top of the world. Look, I'm a diva. I'll admit it, but I'm a power diva. And I was thinking you fellas might want to focus on me more. We could do a spin-off. Power diva. A crime-fighting superhero. Surfing puffin with a bad attitude and a thirst for action. Oh, it's got you going to do that? Well, you know. Oh, uh, uh, did you just? No, I didn't mean. I'm not a mammoth for five minutes, and you're hidden on me. I wasn't saying. Not right now. I'm in time. I was just saying that it's our responsibility. What? That came out wrong. You're very pretty. But we just met. Responsibility. Just doing your duty. Uh, is that it? Ready to make the ultimate sacrifice to save your species? Well, I got some news for you. You're not saving the species tonight or any other night. So how did it go? Mm, not bad. Okay, let's go. We traveled with you all day. Now you coming with us at night? But we can't see at night. Then enjoy the flood. I can't even look at him. Pervert. Making friends. Everywhere you go. Just making friends. Watch out. There's a stump. Not anymore. I thought we could walk together. Crash. Ask the man why he thinks that. She said she thinks you are a jerk. And to go away. She didn't say. Ah, look. Maybe if we spend more time. Tell him that I need a little personal space right here. She said. Let's slow down. It started on Tuesday. And now it's Thursday. It's not exactly. Um, a long-term relationship. Is it? You're very bad. Telephone rings. Ring ring. Oh, ring ring. M, -M, M Bridget Jones. Want in sex goddess with a very bad man between her thighs. Mom. Ha. Bridget. It's the truth universally acknowledged that the moment one area of your life starts going okay, another part of it falls spectacularly to pieces. Pamela. Ah, anyone else want to have it off? Ha ha. Don't be shy, madam. Branch. Have it over. Ha ha. With the wise crack egg peeler. Now, nice firm grip. Put it in the hole. And up, down, up, down. And off it comes in your hand. Oh, mind the overspray. Sorry, darling. If I came in with my knickers on my head, he wouldn't notice. I spent 35 years cleaning his house, washing his clothes, bringing up his children. I'm your child, too. To be honest, darling, having children isn't all it's cracked up to be. Given my chance again, I'm not sure I'd have any. Mum, and now it's the winter of my life, and I haven't actually got anything of my own. I've got no power, no real career, no no sex life. I've got no life at all. I'm like the grasshopper who sang all summer. I'm like Jermaine Sodding Deer. Greer. Well, anyway, I'm not having it, and I've been talent spotted. Julian thinks I've got great potential. Who's Julian? From the home shopping channel. Comes into the store to have his colors done. Potential for what? As a demonstrator on his cable show. You know, his assistant. Apparently, it's the highest rated show on the channel. Well, apart from the one where the fat people beat up their relatives. Oh, I must whiz. Have you heard from Mark Darcy? Goodbye, Mum. Be dramatic singing. MRS. Mrs. Jones. Mum. Julian. Sorry to keep you waiting. Be dramatic singing. Going on and on and on and on. Bridget. And a few weeks later, it got lots worse. Hello. Look at this. Julian. Paying off this heart shaped pendant. One of my own personal recommendations. Is this absolutely stunning? Matching necklace and earring set. Julian. The earrings measuring just over a centimeter. In genuine diamante with two pairs in lapis lazuli. In a lovely mock gold finish. A respectful boy would come here and ask for my permission. My daughter engaged to a Zeno. I always think she's going to be married in the Greek Orthodox Church. Why is she doing this to me? And leave space. Sometimes their space is so big that the roof can't support itself, so it collapses. Excuse me. Try not to be too loud. Ha ha ha. What's going on? Are you okay? Can we go to Vegas? What? Can we go to Niagara Falls or Fiji? You want to go to Fiji? Sure. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Come here. What's the matter? I just feel like we can't get married. Not like this. It's like when I'm with you. I am so happy. But my family is so unhappy. And our wedding should be this joyous thing. But it won't be for them because it can't be in our church. So let's just go somewhere. Please. Let's just go. Hey. I love you. Why? Why do you love me? Because I came alive when I met you. But my family. You're a part of your family. And I'll do anything. Whatever it takes to get them to accept me. Because you're my whole life now. We're not going to skulk off and get married. As if we're ashamed of ourselves. Okay. Okay. Did you say skulk? Shut up. Let's just skulk off somewhere. Come on. Talk to him. Tula loves him. Do it for Tula. Come on. Come on. He wants to get me out. Oh, growls. Come on. Go. 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 Don't spin. Don't spin. Panting. Gasps. Man. On TV you there. Huh? Now. You was friendly to me. I don't have to kill you. Man number two. You got money doesn't belong to you. Man. Now. You back off. This ain't none of your business. Man number two. All right. Drop the saddlebags. Beeping. Dash. Phone rings. Dash. Gasps. Line ringing. Snoring. Ring ring. Squawks. Hello. This is Karen. Uh, how's it going? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm running late for the office again. I, I think blue chips are overvalued. Technology stocks would be good. Technology stocks. Listen. Pond. I'm in the shower. Can I call you back? Bad. Bad Leroy Brown. Baddest cat in the whole damn town. Badder than old King Kong. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. See ya. Oh, grunting. The car's outside. I got a woman in the house. Get over here. Come on. Get up. Panting. Dash. Grunting. Dash. Gasps. Gasps. Screaming. Out. Oh. Gasps. Shoot. Clicks tongue. Everybody's in a hurry. Jernigan. It's a video camera. Someone's onto us. Hunger. Do you think it really matters? Chips in the car. We're at the airport in 45 minutes. Where's Alice? Rattling. Crash. What happened? There is a woman in the house. I'll go back in and deal with her. Get the chip. Dash. Clicks. Hmm. Screams. Yes. I got it. Ma'am. May I have a word with you? Don't come in. I'm naked. What's on your mind? Monkey butt. Come on. Come on. What's that funky smell? I lost it. What? Come on. Go. Go. Go.
individual. House lightly. Six to nine years. Sixty-nine years. No. Six to nine years. Private. What happened to our thumbs? Haven't seen them since yesterday. Darn you, Darwin. Nobody goes a wall on my watch. Private. You're coming with me. Rico. You're coming with me. We'll bring them in for court martial. That won't be necessary. We've recruited a few extra thumbs for you, Skipper. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Oh, I doubt that. Enough lollygagging. Let's get to work. There'll be three groups. Group Alpha will do sheet metal fabrication. Group Bronson handles assembly. Group George Peppered craft services. Any questions? Good. Let's get to work. I'd like to kiss you, monkey man. All right, but you're so darn ugly. Remember, little cuff scouts. A great dance performance comes from the heart. Straight from the heart. You'll never go wrong. Sure, Mister. Hey, Alakadi. I just happened to walk by. I thought I'd wish you luck. You're not nervous, are you? Not. Nah, it's my thing. In my opinion, the key to this is choosing the right competitor. You mean this is like a dance battle sort of thing? Like a dance off? Sure. Great. I love that freestyle. Who'd be a good match for me? Just one more level, mom. Please. I'm so close to victory. Okay. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. This is not open for discussion, mom. No. Oh, man. I was about to demolish Captain Overkill's armored base. Well, I'm sure they can be demolished tomorrow. Now, hurry up. We're gonna be late. Why don't you just go without me? Look, this is not a root canal or something. It's a Christmas party. There'll be other kids there that I'll have to talk to, and then they'll ask me questions, and, size, will I have to sing? Look, I know you're afraid of new situations, but I refuse to raise a kid who's afraid of everything. That isn't on a video screen. Loud rock music plays on stereo in distance. Put on your shoes. I'm gonna murder your sister. Music continues. What's going on? Somebody took my headphones. What? Dash. Music stops. That's it. Family announcement. We are not moving back to California. Not because of ghosts. Not because of poorly conceived acts of teenage rebellion. Not ever. We are all going to learn to love this quaint little town, and this big creepy house because we have to. It's bad enough you dragged us all the way across the country. Now we've got to parade around with smiles on our faces just so that you don't feel guilty. So, what? You'd rather not go? Stay home? Is that what you want? Totally. Maybe I might actually like this place if I wasn't around you guys all the time. Oh, oh, okay, great. You two can stay here while your dad and I have all the Christmas fun we can handle. Seriously. Yeah, you want to stay home? Stay home. Okay, okay. But there are some terms and conditions. First of all, Alexis, you are babysitting Finn. Wait, hold on. Works for me. And no video games. Mom, no games. No TV. No music. No phone. You probably want to leave her the phone. These are my rules. No phone. Emergencies. Thank you, honey. Okay, phone for emergencies only. Okay, okay, great. Well, I am Bliska. I don't even. Okay, you need to talk to him. Carmen, just speak Spanish. Tell him how you feel. I do. I do talk to him. I talk to him all the time. Yeah, like you talk to me. No, this is important, Carmen Sita. What he did was wrong. I'm gonna get on a plane and I'm just gonna come down there. No, mom, look. Okay, you'd never want him to be happy. And that's why you blame him. And this is gonna work out great. It's going to be fine. Phone beats off. Lena, dear Tibby, I think we may have been very, very wrong about the pants. The one time I wore them, I almost drowned. And then got plucked onto a fishing boat by a guy who made me touch a live fish. It was disgusting. At least I'm getting some good sketching in. I love everything about this island. Well, except that you're not with me. Infinite X's and O's. Lena, men shouting in Greek. How was town? Fine. I have found this in the laundry. Is it yours? No. Actually, um, chuckles. I, uh, I sort of borrowed it. When I went down to the, um, harbor, I went swimming. And someone just lent it to me. Oh, someone. Someone who? A boy. Yeah. Which one? I know everyone. Don't mind them. They're your cousins. Speaking Greek. They're cousins, too. How many do I have? Plenty of them. Don't change the subject. Um, out with it. Out, out. His name is Costas Dunas. Indistinct conversations in Greek. Dunas. He's a Dunas. All speaking Greek excitedly. SHH. Shouts in Greek. You must never speak of them. They are liars. They are thieves. They are barbarians. Speaking Greek. Your grandfather would die if he know about this. You must never see this boy again. You understand? Yes. No. That's not enough. You have to swear. I swear. Okay. Speaking Greek. Asterisk. 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 What exactly am I supposed to be saying here? Tibby. On tape. Oh, just stuff about your life. Oh. Ain't nothing too interesting. Tibby. Well, we're not really looking for interesting. Just real. You know. That's the point of a documentary. A what? A documentary. Oh. Like a movie. Only boring. Tibby and woman laughing on tape. Doorbell chimes. Um. Hi. I think this is yours. They delivered it to my house by mistake. They must have got the numbers screwed up. See. This says 721 and I'm 271. I'm bailing. Yeah. You're the one that um that fainted the other day, right? At Wallman's. I was there. Oh. Yeah. You're the weird girl with the price sticker on your forehead. Wait here. I got something for you. It, oh, Ted, Rupert, oh, Teddy, I'll be right there. No, I don't need your help. Handle this by myself. I got to go. Slump's done. Dash, beep, dash, barking, dash, growling, growling, whistle, barking. Never, ever underestimate Theodore Brooks. EDS, laughs, screams, dash, growling, dash, screaming, head screaming, bad dog, bad dog, it back, dash, screaming, dash, barking, bad doggy, bad dog, bad doggy, barking, dash, grunts, dash, laughs. Who, who made it in the tree, dog? Who made it in the tree? That's right, that's right. You can't climb. You don't know what time it is. Get over here. How you like that? Oh, that's cold. I hope your PP frees up. Yeah, that's right. Go inside. Dash, laughs, Ted, this ain't over. This is only round one. Screams, oh, oh, you having fun with that doggy? Laughs, gasping, grunting. You know what your problem is? See, demon's got it in his head that he's the alpha dog. You've got to show him who's boss. Bite him in the ear. I am not putting any part of that dog in my mouth. Suit yourself. Any musher will tell you the same. Oh, you're a musher? Are you kidding? I'm the only man ever to win the Arctic Flame. Three years running. Congratulations. Yeah, well, it is kind of a strange award. It goes to the person who comes in last. In Miami, three time losers go to prison. Laughs, barb, forget it. Rest rooms are for customers only. Grunts, out of my way, early. Grunts, ah, James Johnson, were you being coy? Or is that some sick Alaskan mind game? Dash, I'm sorry. Dash, D stand barking. I swore to Lucy I wouldn't tell it. Yes, too bad. Bad for the world. The world is safe now. Little bit safer, perhaps, because you will go on. Your father said you will never give up. My father? You knew my father? Now, drink. Finish your tea. It tastes quite bad. Dash laughs, but it is good for you. See, good evening. You're with the Illuminati. Bet your pardon? There's no such thing. It's just a bedtime story. Illuminati, the people of the light. Have you brought my triangle? No, of course you haven't. You've hidden it somewhere. Well, you
you're lying. No, no, he mentored me in the order. It was truly an honor. I don't believe you'll start construction on Kazakotopia. Oh, yeah, okay. Now look, I think we got off on the wrong foot here. I just think if you really thought about it, you did decide to build your home on a different hilltop. And why would I do that? Because, deep down, I think you LL realized that you're reforcing an entire village out of their homes just for you. And that s bad. Well, yeah, uh, nobody s that heartless. Props. Previously on, Survivor, the Baran and Sambara tribes merged into one. The ten of you have now merged into one tribe. The first individual immunity challenge was an arm's length test of endurance. After more than six hours, Clarence and Teresa were the last two standing. A game of rock, paper, scissors finally determined the outcome. The new tribe bonded over wine, and named themselves Motomaji. At tribal council, Teresa secretly honored her word and voted with Clarence against Lex. Two votes Lex, but Clarence received the majority and was voted out of the tribe. The tribe has spoken. Nine are left. Tonight one more will go. I'm telling you, a dirty chicken. When we went to tribal council last night, we seemed to have kind of a unanimous consensus. Everyone was going to be voting for Clarence and then there were two votes that came in with my name and them, and I was, you. No, I was really surprised. I kind of figured that Clarence would vote for me, but when the second vote came in, I was pissed off. I was furious. I know it's not me. It's not you. It's not Tom for sure. No, it's not Ethan. It's not Ethan. The person that threw that vote at me and that now chooses to, I'd torques me and it pisses me off that I can't figure it out and smoke him out right away. I will not live with a snake yet. I will cut the head off of whoever it is that did this and whoever it is that has poisoned this with scheming and lying is going to go down next. Mm him. That is just the way it is and I'm going to take him out. I'm going to slit their throats. This morning Lex was just a total jerk. I mean what do you expect? in this game i mean i'm sorry someone voted against you mr ego deal with it it was not me you swear on your brother you'd swear on your brother's name i'd swear on my brother's name i'd swear on both my parents i really would i'll look you in the eye you are i am i am i promise you okay it really wasn't me but screw you lex if you're going to sit here and yell at me like you're my dad and i'm five and i just stole cookies for something i didn't do did you sleep well i did i'm a pretty happy camper this one little vote is so inconsequential to the game, and it has so much to do with Lex's ego that I really could care less what happens with it. Somebody was just screwing with his head and it worked. It makes me wish I had done it. Is there anything I can help you with for breakfast? I was going to try that soup. What would you think of that? Sure. At this point in the game, I'm worried about the fact that there's a snake amongst us and I don't know who it is. That person could act like cancer and start rotting, rotting our plans from the inside out, and that's why we need to smoke. Now take me back. What? Wait, wait. How can you be this way? All you care about is building your summer home and filling it with stuff for you. Uh, yeah, boy, mate. Everyone else in the kingdom gets it. You're the only one that doesn't seem to be with the program. At the shop. You know what? Someday, you're gonna wind up all alone. And you LL have no one to blame but yourself. Thanks for that. I LL locked that away. Now, for the final time, I order you to take me back to the palace. Looks to me like you restuck out here. Because unless you change your mind, I am not taking you back. Because unless you change your mind, I am not taking you back. Mate, mate, mate. Huh? What? I didn't do anything. I didn't Somebody Somebody's throwing stuff. You gonna build a fire or what? What's going on? He has never gonna change his mind. How am I? ever gonna get out of here and so it is with great sadness that we mourn the sudden departure of our beloved prince taken from us so tragically on the very eve of his one eighth birthday poor little guy his legacy will live on in our hearts he never had a chance for all eternity well he and t getting any debtor back to work Kron, darlin i must admit you had me worried when you mixed up those poisons but now for you pal they're gonna nail us no matter what we do so we might as well have a good time toga 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 it's not gonna be an orgy it's a toga party honestly boom you're 21 years old in six months you're gonna graduate and tomorrow night you're gonna wrap yourself up in a bed sheet and pour grain alcohol all over your head it's cute but i think i'll pass this time want me to go alone, baby, I don't want you to go at all, it's a fraternity party, I'm in the fraternity, how can I miss it, I'll write you a note, I'll say you're too well to attend, that's funny, very funny, where'd he get the wheels, from his brother, yeah, he's letting him use it for a week or so, Flounder's bringing his girlfriend up for the weekend, Flounder, I am appointing you, pledge representative to the social committee, gee, honor, thanks, what do I have to do, it means you have to drive us to the food king, let's go, let's go, food king, food king, food king, let's go, food king, food king, food king, whistling, honor, please, what are you doing, I'm fixing your sweater, there you go, clearing throat, now, look, stick by me, and keep your sweater closed, hey, I could get in trouble, that's right, so, be cool, mine's bigger than that, I beg your pardon. Oh, my cucumber, it's bigger. Vegetables can be really sensuous, don't you think? No, vegetables are sensual. People are sensuous, right? Sensual, that's what I meant. By the way, my name is Eric Stratton. They call me Otter. My name's Marion. They call me Missings. And the Indians pull to within one at four to three. Way to go, Jack. I bought him. Welcome to New Jack City. I told you that this guy will make a difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jacksonville, Jack the Ripper, Jack Mate, Jumping Jack Flash, Jack Attack Harry. I used to hate Parkman when he was with the A's. It's amazing how a new uniform can change your attitude about a guy. He's still a dick. Announcer, now batting. Harry, last of the nine. Two outs and a tying run at first. And Pedro Serrano steps into the box. Serrano, hitless today, and pretty much all swing. Martinez takes his lead from first again. Here's the pitch. Serrano swings, and it's a high fly ball to center field, and it hits a bird. The ball drops into right. The bird into short center. Serrano rounds first and heads for center field. Hey, where are you going? Go, go, go. Serrano kill a living thing.
thing. Forget the damn bird. Run, run. He's alive. Chuckles. Martinez around third. Heading for home. And so is the bird. Bye bye, birdie. Sorry, but you're out, Mr. Gandhi. Too late. Run doesn't score. Ball game's over. Oh, what, what? Serrano, come on. Crowd booing. Harry, well, the Indians drop a tough one. Four to three. As Pedro Serrano doubles off a pigeon and then is tagged out administering CPR before the tying run could score. It's a funny game. Yeah, at least the bird survived. Who cares? It's a rat with wings. Two months. Two months. What do you mean? You have enough money to run the team for two months. You paid too much for the franchise. There's another four months in the season. What am I supposed to do? Increase your profits any way you can. What the hell is this crap? Well, Roger Dorn has done a little redecorating around the ballpark. The outfield walls now look like the yellow pages. And any of you folks having trouble finding a good proctologist might want to come here and check out the area around the 375 foot sign. As for the game, we got a real nail biter here tonight. It's a lot closer than that 11 to 2 score. Mr. Vaughn, I thought you were starting tonight. I did. Oh, sorry. I didn't turn it on until the second inning. I can't believe you're upset about what the valley said. I am because Billy together. I owe it to my partner. I should warn you. Foxy 2002 is very different. Well, have a future better get ready for me. Because I'm Foxy Cleopatra and I'm a whole lot of women. Both laugh. 2002. Here we come. Guard over PA. All visitations limited to five minutes. No spitting in the visitor's room. Here, doctor. I have some news. It's your son. Oh, he wants to take over the family business. Scotty does. Oh, he's gotten so evil. He has even started losing his hair. I know. It's sweet. Oh, he just wants to make you proud. Here, doctor. After all, it's hard on the boy not having a father. You know, first you were frozen, then you were in space. Now you're in jail. Well, don't tell me he feels neglected. I was adopted by freaking Belgians. Yeah, you were adopted? I never met my birth parents. There was a car accident. Evil. I'm told it was a beautiful Belgian day. The smell of waffles and Brussels sprouts filled the summer air until my birth mother was incinerated. I only survived because her smoking carcass formed a protective cocoon of slaughtered human effluence. Evil. A Belgian man and his 15-year-old love slave with webbed feet was looting the accident scene. They came across a blood-soaked baby. Boy. Evil. They raised me to be evil. You know, that old chestnut speaks in German, but nothing compares to this being inside the belly of the beast. Night after night, all alone. Daddy's all pent up. Let's read. Farbizina. Oh, time's up. Art over PA. Visiting hours are over. Step to the line. Puffs up. Move it. Hi there. How you sleeping? Good. Gentlemen, listen up, y'all. Here's the new plan. You're gonna start a riot, and we're gonna walk out the front door. All laughing. Hey, man. I know guys on crack that makes more sense than you. Really? Us thinking about counting all this money. Mail announcer look at Lucky Day go. Oak singing we're moving on up to the east side. Mail announcer absolutely amazing. This looks to be Lucky Day's big day. It's Lucky Day. Oh, what happened? Lucky Day is down. Oak singing we're moving on up to the east side. Gasps no. Mail announcer and here comes Fish Fingers followed by Sea Biscuit. Yellowtail and Fish Fingers wins. What happened? Let me see. Wait, I just wanna hold you. Oscar, get out of my way. Mail announcer what a sad day for Lucky Day. Remember your happy place, and that's why they call him the long shot. Yo, that was crazy. Right, who knew? Everything's set. It's a lot. We good to go. We in the money. And he trips underwater. Who in the hell of a trips underwater? And by the way, on what? That's it, that's it. I've had it. In high pitched voice, Ernie, Ernie. I want you to find the deepest, darkest hole in the ocean. And when you do, dig deeper and put him in it. Pops, screams. Sorry, kid. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Ernie and Bernie singing, don't worry. Muffled screams. About a thing. Cause every little thing. Is gonna be alright. This is how you sing it. Oscar. Yeah, Sykes. He like yeah. Mon. Him say take it easy on you. Oh, but Sykes is not here. True. Dash laughs. Ernie, let me ask you a question. Yeah, Mon. Go on. Dash muffled scream. Why is it that me locks can sting other people, but they have no effect on me or you? Screams. Ernie. I didn't mean it. Ernie. I didn't mean it, man. Ernie. Dash screaming. Oh, Ernie. Dash laughing. Ernie. You made a joke. Good one. Mon. Respect. Respect. Blood fire. Whimpers. Lenny Frankie. You know I can't do this. Frankie Lenny. If you want to make Pop happy, you gotta kill something. Lenny or I could find a very old sick fish and just wait. Frankie Ugh. It's getting around. Your thing at the restaurant. You know how fish talk. Bit a bit. Bit a bop. This. That. The other. Then how ya doing? Boom. Dash gas. Forget about it. You're dead. Okay. Seriously. I can't understand why Scott. So you'll have to be more specific. Oh, specific. You want specific. Be a shark for once in your life. Dash Rones. What am I gonna do? Ah, uh, Lenny. Forget about it. Okay. We do couple of practice runs to show myself a glass. Thank you, Carmen. Okay. Sorry. Children laughing. But why? I want a DS now. Give me it. Woman. No. 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 I said no. 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 Period. Give me it. Woman. I said no. Baby crying. Hot hot heats five times out of one hundred. Plays over speakers. I feel. Morning. Sunshine. A guy named Brian called for you twice. Thank you. Could you check the return date on these for me? I think I might be a little late. What did you just say? I said I think I'm late. Is that supposed to be funny? Hey, honey. Sorry I'm late. Okay. I'm just going to waive the late fee for these. Cool. Tibby. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Lena. So how can I help? Can you throw a couple onions in there? Yeah. What do your folks think about art school? I think they probably wish I was still going. Just on Saturdays after school. But they just want what's best for me. What's that? Two car garage. House in the suburbs. Yeah. I mean, they've worked so hard for what they have. And it makes me feel guilty for not wanting the same thing. It doesn't make you ungrateful. Just for wanting to find out for yourself. Wow. Everything looks so beautiful. You cook with so many colors. Only another artist would even notice that. Can I taste something? Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, you like mushrooms? Yeah. Looks good. Mm. Wow. It's good. That's so good. You have to give me the recipe. Recipe. No. No recipe. You don't use recipes. No recipes. It's like painting inside the lines. You know. The downside is you never know how it'll turn out. But it's kind of the upside. Okay. So how can I help? Yeah. Try the saffron. Just try not to knock anything over tonight. All right. Lena. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Beckwith. 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 Dorcas. Well, at least I have a line. Right. That's good. Hey. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I was actually talking to Carmen. What? What? Carmen. Perdita. No. 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 Tizing people. I'm gonna need bi-weekly reports from you. Basically, you're the hub of our communication network hub. I hate you. Sue Ellen. Start getting updated reports from the department heads and coordinating them. You can access the format on the C drive. Until you lay it out on a spreadsheet, the market analysis is too amorphous.
How would I do that? Gosh, Sue Ellen, being an executive administrative assistant, you can figure that out. Hello, hot. Uh, are you a temp? No, I'm Sue Ellen. I work for Rose. Hot, uh, I'm Kathy. So you're Rose's new executive administrative assistant. Well, congratulations. I submitted my resume, but it wasn't good enough. Wow, working with Rose must be so neat. Am I cutting in front of you? Are you faxing? No, I'm still organizing my spreadsheet and my projections amorphous huff stuff. Oh, right. So anyway, I'm Fred Kibbert's secretary over in sales. It has been really slow. Gosh, you're swamped. Yeah, I'm a whiz on the computer. So if I ever have anything for me, just ask. If I want, are you familiar with the QED report? Oh, wow, really? Yeah, go ahead. Really? Thank you. Oh, and don't feel overwhelmed. Just do one thing at a time. Right, hello. How's it going? What do you mean? How are you? A-R-E the kids, okay? No, I tied them to a red ant hill. Did you get some money? Hey, who are you? Where's that other broad? Mona, not yet. There's a problem. What did they do? I are you? I'm Sue Ellen. I work for Rose. Do you have any plan? There is a price. If it arrested Braga is exempt on Toretto. Yes, I'm D-O-M. Just thinking of you. When I gave you my phone number, I hope to call. But not in this situation. What situation? You are in life. Do not take it personally. I'm just business. I and me some business to do. Put him on the phone campus. They are. To do so. And provides Braga people's loyalty. Us again to and give you. We can find others. Is more profitable for business. I want to make a change. Braga not negotiable. Okay. Then it explains how he disappeared cargo of 60 million dollars. I know sure that this is not profitable. What? Six million and I's money. Lee Gray by Braga staff. I hate to draw me. I assume the risk of if not and he had something to lose. They will never accept. Either treat me with Braga. Times you do it. When and where. With all and have occupied positions in the ukuleles. Wilma. Funny. I don't see any lovely hula hands. I should have left the blindfolds on. Brad. What are you grouching about girls? You wanted peace and quiet. You got it. Nature's beauty is all around us. You know what they say in the song. The best things in life are free. And the worst husbands in life are cheap. Betty. Yeah. Fred. Okay so it isn't the most expensive trip in the world. But you will be waited on hand and foot. Arnie and I will put up the tents. Do all the work. Cook all the meals. And we've got enough food to feed an army. Belch Wilma. Enough for an army or a Dogazaurus. Whichever gets there first. It works I tell you. You saw it dad. George. Well I. I. Saw something alright. Well even if it doesn't work it'd be fun to pretend. I just love to go into the future. Just to get away from Rex Saturn and Mr. Spacely. It's almost worth a try. Great. Then 25th century here we come. Elroy are you sure we're going to the future? Uh. If you know what you mean. I know what you mean dad. I got it set to the future. Astro. Hey what about me? Come on Astro. Play let's pretend along with the rest of us. Astro. Oh boy oh boy. Thanks George. Hang on everybody. Jane. Onto what? George. Onto each other. Just in case this darn thing works. Okay. Dinner everyone. Hey. Where'd everybody go? We want to go home. Betty. Now. Fred. Give it a chance will you Wilma. What would you do at home work? What are you doing out here? Watching us work. You haven't got that tight enough barn. Barney. That's as tight as I can get it Fred. Do I have to do everything? There. Now you see girls. All you have to do is lie here in comfort and watch us. Yeah. Make fools out of yourselves. Betty. Like Wilma says. We want to go home. Wilma. Now. At least give us a chance to put up the tent. Wilma. Sure we'll give you the chance. But will they? Fred. Giant ants. Barney. And they're taking the tent. Fred. Come on. They're not getting away with it. Dino hell. Hell. No Dino no. Not me. Them. Well what's next on our peaceful little vacation? Giant dinosaurs. Or some wild tribes that have never seen human beings before. Will you girls just relax? Whatever there is. We'll protect you. Now just go down by the stream and wash up. We'll put up the tent and get lunch. You think there are any wild tribes out there Fred? Fred. If there are we'll just scare them off like we did the wild ants. You scare them off. I'll stand here and shiver. What's that Fred? Fred. The end of our vacation. Let's go girls. You were right. We're going home. Barney. Last on in the car is a rotten dinosaur. Look at this ugly thing. Oh, what? Oh, lovely. I'm rich. The mount. Lex was just distraught. I mean it was just terrible. He said, all I could think about was who was the one that voted for him. And, I mean, I didn't think it would be that much of an impact. I thought, shoot, ten votes. He got two. Didn't get eight. Well, what's the big deal? He's here. But it wasn't like that a bit. I'm just not even going to. I'm not even going to think about it anymore. It was because somebody around here is claiming to be something that they're not. Right. Of course they figure that Clarence had voted him, but they had to figure out who the other person was. It was me. I mean I did it. I'm sick that I did it now. But like I said, I didn't think it would be such an ordeal. You know, I want, I want you to know that I have. I have no suspicion at all as far as you're concerned and I'm just going to let this thing go now. That whoever it is is probably going to hang themselves and that's the way it is, you know. And I wish I knew definitively for sure because then I would just take care of it to give it next. Yeah, right. Mama didn't raise no fool. I'm going to keep quiet for a while longer just because, well, I'm not really ready to go. From the moment I met you, I knew that I could trust you and I trust my gut over my, over my eyes any day and my gut told me that you're, you're the real deal, so, thanks, Lex, thank you, so, all along I played with being straight up with everybody, and, now I'm not straight up with them for obvious reasons, and I, don't know where to go with it now, it bothers me, it bothers me a lot, actually, I hate this game, oh, one of these little, Weird music makers. Okay, what is it? This is like an African music making device. All right, cool. You play with your thumbs, and it says coordination and persistence it'll take to win this one. You may run out of breath, but I guarantee you'll have some fun. You best use all your leverage. Focus you don't want to miss. Because you haven't seen a reward quite as cool as this. Persistence and leverage. Focus. But see, leverage is kind of like, you know, like you have to push these. I don't know. Lex is getting good at that thing.
This is fun. I like having this around. You guys are going to get really sick of this. Prost. All right, guys. Sick of this. Prost. All right, guys. Today's reward challenge is going to require a bit of coordination, a whole lot of persistence. You will each have nine items. Your goal, get the nine items into the basket on top of your tower using your plank as a springboard. So you'll take one item at a time. Put it at the end of the plank. Go to the other side. Stomp on it, flinging it into the air. Into your basket. A little bit of wind today. You'll have to adjust for its trial and error. The first person to get all nine items in their basket wins the reward. Want to know what your reward is? Yes. Probst, Charles, Isaac, bring them in. You guys remember Charles from when we drank blood? This is his brother, Isaac. Hi. Probst, the winner gets these two goats. And in the morning, we'll go to a small African village where you are going to barter these goats for whatever you can get. Creature comforts, food, souvenirs, whatever you deem important. And then the merchant who you trade with will be able to increase his herd of goats, which increases his wealth. All right, take your spots. Let's get it going. Survivors ready? Go. Ethan's got one. Another one for Ethan. Ethan's got one. Another one for Ethan. Rich, I wonder if they make diamond underwear. Oh, there's Elon LaFidel. Here, hold this. What part of hold this was too complex? There's something I need to tell you. There's something I need to know. Matt Ellen, you know, the festival's tomorrow. And, and, and I thought that I'll mean we could, you know, go. Quasi, I'm not the person you think I am, but I want to be more than anything. Matt Ellen, tell me the truth. Hey, what happened to LaFidel? They stole it. Dad was right. Come on, we gotta find out where they're taking the bell. All right, I've had enough. Something's wrong. We have to hurry. But, but, Quasimodo, I, LaFidel, it's gone. The bell has been stolen. We must find her, or the festival will be ruined. Sarasch, how could I have been such a fool? Sarasch, seal off the city. Every street, every river, every alley. They won't get far with the go. Exactly. Columns of two. One, two. Hero girl, excuse me. Question. What about him? No one is required to see Santa. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not have to hold hands. Come on, but please remain in your columns. While we are in transit, look, you have to come with us. She's right. Christmas just doesn't work out for me. Never has. But Christmas is such a wonderful, beautiful time. It's a time for giving and being thankful. Or friends and family. People hang decorations and lights. And then, Santa comes leaves presents under our Christmas trees. Christmas just doesn't work out for me. Look, I don't know if Christmas is gonna work out for you or not. But this is Christmas Eve. Don't stay here by yourself. Hero girl, yes, come with us. We'll go together. Creaking. Hero girl, oh, no. Hero boy, oh, no. Hero boy, we're gonna be okay. Buzzing. Maybe not. The emergency break. The emergency break. Hero boy, there's no break. I can't find the break. Oh, take a break. Did. How about a nice, good hot cup of joe? Bangs. All screaming. Break squealing. Screaming continues. Screaming. Hero girl, we're one else. They're fair game. Roaring. I'll take good care of him. Roars. I think the playing field just got a bit more even. This is going to be fun. Ready to battle. Bear snarling. If it isn't the infamous guard, the strongest alpha in the western pack. I hear he is married to an omega. A weak omega. Yelping. Roaring. Marcel. Bombs away. Well, it was that or a windshield. Stop. Stop. I order you to stop. Runs. Oh, oh, they're running away. Those cowards. Marcel chuckles. All chuckling. Humphrey. It's getting too cold. Right. Mom. Dad. Might we make it home in time for Christmas? Let's talk. I'm not even sure where we are anymore. Claudette. It's so cold. We're lost, aren't we? Runting. Run. What gives? Is my son climbing a? Here we go again. Kate. Run. You just eat faster than large ones. Their blood must circulate faster to keep their bodies warm. Now, in small birds, their hearts beat about 600 times per minute. Cats, 130. Men, about 75. And a big old elephant's heart, only 25 a minute. Hey, Doc, you got a human heart? Has he got a human heart? Wait till you see this. Roll 10. School bell rings. Hanson, okay, class. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. If any of you want to bring me a present, a cassette deck wouldn't be bad. Of course, tickets to the Super Bowl would be very nice. Pete, Mr. Hanson, wait, let me just talk to you for a second. Pete, hot, Billy, it just hatched. I'll be right there. Hey there, you remember me? Remember me, don't you? I went and got you a candy bar. I thought you might be hungry. You hungry? You should try one of these. Projector turns on. Glass breaks. Hey there, come here. Don't be afraid. There's no reason to be afraid. Where'd you go? Where are you? I know you're in there. I know you're under there. Come on, now. You're not still angry about that little blood test, are you? Come on out. Take a bite. Let, yeah. I never ever meant to stray, but when she looked at me that way, the night was young and Gapery made me forget. How silly can you get? Yeah, yeah. How silly can you get? Oh, yeah. No more fooling around, you bet. How silly can you get? Girl screaming. I can't believe it's true that I just met a girl like you. Inaudible. Each night I'm all alone. My heart's an empty home. To see you standing there would be my only prayer. You set my heart on fire. It's burning with desire. Your touch, your lips, your soul. You make me lose control, baby. Please, baby. Please, baby. Please spend this night with me. I can't believe it's true. I met a girl like you. In heaven we would be if you would spend this night with me. If you would spend this night with me, darling. I'm here to say. I pray there'll come a day when by my side you'll stay. When you, you will always be a love that's true to me. Duds, you set my heart on fire. It's burning with desire. Your touch, your lips, your soul. Mm, you make me lose control, baby. Please, baby. Please, baby. Please, baby. Please spend this night with me. Girl screaming. Oh, baby, baby. Please, baby. Please. Don't you understand? I need you. I can't live without you. I'm gonna say something I've never said before. I even love yet. Oh, it's just no use. I'm begging you, darling. I can't face another day without you. Oh, honey lamb, I'm afraid. Don't you understand? I'm losing my very mind. I gotta have you with me. I'm in such a complete anguish without you. Oh, sugar. One. Uh, 998. 997. It's going backwards. Yo. Oh, no. Not again. Jane. Look out. Uh, watch out. Teddy too. I'll save you. Elroy. Where's Elroy? And Teddy too. Son. Son. Exclaiming. What the? Jetson. Stammering. Mr. Spacely. What's going on up there? A brick and bracken's broken in the sprocket locket. Laughing nervously. Stammering. I mean. New glitches always have plans. You're destroying my plant. Turn the machines off. Turn them off. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Machines shut down. It's off, sir. Mr. Spacely. And get it started soon. Lost time means lost money. And lost money means lost vice president. Get it? Swallows. So, can I stay over with Elroy tonight? Mom. Huh? Here. I'm not sure that's a good idea. 
tonight after what happened. Oh, mom, please. Elroy saved me. He's my new best friend. It's alright with me. Alright, but first let me give you a hand. Sign. That feels better. Say thanks to Mrs. Jetson. Be a good boy and stay well oiled. Alright, alright, George, there's something you should know. Since the plant opened, there's been an unusual amount of glitches. Uh -huh. I thought we'd cleared them all up, but they keep happening. It may be safer for you to just leave. What? I know exactly where we are. Ask him directions. I don't need directions. Fine. I'll ask him. Hey, buddy, you see any humans go by here? Oh, 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 I love this game. I love this game. Okay, okay. Sid, three words. First word. Uh, stomp. Sid, no, no. Stamp, stamp. Manfred, let me try. A pack, good one. Manny, pack of long teeth and claws. Pack of wolves. Pack of pack of bears. Manfred, pack of fleas. Sid, pack of whiskers. Pack of noses. Pachyderm. Pack of lies. Pack of troubles. Pack of wallop. Pack of birds. Pack of flying fish. Dash, screams. Well, I would like to hold my little hand. How we will run. We will, how we will crawl. We will, I would like to hold my little hand. How we will run. We will, how we will crawl. Send me on my way. Uh, great news. I found a shortcut. What do you mean? Shortcut? I mean faster than the long way around. Uh, I know what a shortcut is. Look, either we slip through there and beat the humans to Glacier Pass, or we take the long way and miss him. Through there and look down. Narrator, that night I learned that more than 150 baseballs had gone over that fence, and not one of them was ever seen again, even when some brave kid worked up enough courage to peek over. Because when they went over, they vanished. Dash, the beast growling, I knew it was true. Because when I looked down in there, I didn't see a single solitary one. Dash, beast growling, dash, chain rattling, screaming, he's down there. You bet he is. Whatever goes over that fence stays there. It becomes the property of the beast forever. Come on, give it to me. No, I want to carry it. Come on, I paid for it. I want to carry it. Oh, whoa, give it to me. Dash, there goes my baby squints. Jeez Louise, what's the matter? Jeez, move in on down the line. Wondering where, wondering where, wondering where she is bound. Wendy Peppercorn, MMM. Whoa, wow, now I'm alone, so all alone. What can I do? What can I do? Dash, there goes my baby. Dash, whoa, oh, oh, Dash, there goes my baby. Dash, whoa, ah, dash, there goes my baby. Dash, whoa, oh, oh, Dash, there she goes. Dash, yeah, come on, let's go. We gotta get, no, we gotta get to the sandlot. Let's go. Did she really love me? Chattering, come on, let's go. Okay, panting, I'm sweating like a pig. Let's go, come on. Where you guys been? We've been waiting here forever already. Ah, squints was perving a dish. Shut up, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, you were. Your tongue was hanging out of your head, and you was swimming. Oh, Wendy Peppercorn, my darling lover girl, laughs. I said, shut up, I've got a lot of things on my mind. This pop isn't working, Benny. I'm baking like a toasted cheeser. It's so hot here. It's 150 degrees out there. You can't play baseball. You have to call it for the day. You gotta listen to him, Benny. Both that Ellie. Wait, please. Tell them to hold on until the speedway races. If Ray doesn't place, I'm out. I close up shop. I'll sell motor oil. I'll do something. How long you been standing here? Long enough. I sure am glad you're not part of this. At least I did some NG or GHT. People chatter NG. Why do I feel like we just got sentenced to 5 to 10? I'm gonna go sign us in. Maggie Payton. Haven't seen you in a long time. Who you here for? In the way, Ray. Actually, I'm sponsoring Max. So, do you like the makeover? You can take the car out of the junkyard, Maggie. But you can't take the junkyard out of the car. How do you know this, Max? Um, we go way back. I'd like to meet him. Can you arrange a face to face? He's meditating. Getting in the zone. Sure. Pressure's getting to him. He's not worried. He beat you once. Beginner's luck. You tell that to yourself at night in your trip, Murphy pajamas. Look, you tell Max I'm really looking forward to the rematch. Oh, hey. Sorry, big fella. I'm so sick of all this trip, Murphy CRA. Jeez. Hey. See you later, trip. Size, I don't know if I can do this. Time to suit up, Max. Hashtag Ali and AJ walking on sunshine. Hashtag Ali and AJ walking on sunshine. Track announcer race fans, please welcome our own trip, Murphy. Cheering. We've got 200 names up there. By the end of the day, there will be only one. Crowd yet, and that driver will face me, and have a chance to win $10,000. Let's race. Announcer, yeah, kick their butts, to me. Nothing says time to get out of the bathroom like fire. Hey, what's going on? Watch your backs. Where's the fire? Be quick. Go downstairs. Outside, outside. On the grass, on the grass. Everyone, let's go. Okay, out the door, out the door. Go. Get out, get out, get out. Victory to the North Kids. Yeah, guys, guys. Come on, let's go watch them. Nice towel, Christina. Yeah, cute boxers. William, you guys are so dead. At least we'll be clean. Can I get the two of you guys closer together? Aoko, what are you doing? Webcasting. Say cheese. Come on, guys. This is our talking stick, and this is a no judgment circle. So whoever has the stick may express themselves without fear or interruption. So, William, why don't you begin? Go ahead. Just, you know, say what you need to. Wait, one of you must have something to say. Okay, if I can interrupt. I'll take the talking stick. Okay, I have something to say. In the interest of making this house a home, I have come up with a little chore chart. You gotta be kidding me. Is this a joke? Charts are never a joke with the Admiral. Look, Mom, we gotta go. We're gonna be late. Let's go. Yeah, let's get out of here. Whoa, whoa. I want you all home right after school. Because we have to go out and requisition supplies. Dismissed. Let's go. That's a nice chart, Frank. Looks like you put a lot of work into it. And this is definitely one of a kind. Give me that. That was a disaster. Well, at least there's no blood. Yeah, what are you doing? Hey, Christina, you lied to me. You said he was a loser. He is a loser. Hey, a very hot loser. Cool. Thanks for the deal. What it is? I was just speculating. Did you breathe must rave on this? Ooh, hey, no, not yet. Good. Don't. Benji, what? Don't tell anyone about this. This took me ages. If something goes wrong with the operation, I want must rave to have deniability. That's great work, Benji. What operation? That look in your eye is a pain in my ass. You know that, right? Woman on PA system. Any available resident to pediatrics. Any available resident to pediatrics. Rehabilitative care. Call the pharmacy. Rehabilitative care. Call the. I have to go away again. On business. Two days. Two days. Yeah, Ethan, what's going on? I keep thinking you just need time to tell me whatever it is that is. But nothing in my mind makes sense. Yeah, what's wrong? What are you not telling me? I need to ask you for something, and it's the most. I need you to trust me. Of course I trust you. Am I ever going to be able to understand what this is? I need you to trust me. Yes, I trust you. Is it? Tell me it's real. I mean us. Tell me it's real. Follow me. Priest, the vows you're about to take are not to be taken without careful thought and prayer. This love is not to be diminished by difficult circumstances, and it is only to be dissolved by death. Do you have the
109 acre sovereign state in the middle of Rome, surrounded by a 60 foot wall, with much, ah, much too much, and stops, circuitry sizzles, sighing, I'll pay your fee, the sum we've agreed upon, kind of hot in these rhinos, size, warm, size, I had a dog, and his name was, bingo, oh, time to get some oxygen, whispering, oh, no, come on, snap, grunting, gasping, mayday, alarm beeping, air hissing, coughing, must have air, groaning, cars approaching, come on, girls, whispering, quiet, 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 look, take a look, ace groaning, woman, oh, look, the mother rhino is giving birth, oh, god, mommy, grunting, cool, go, Annie, get out of here, get in the jeep, quick, girls, get in, welcome to Quinland, roar, and you, too, my friend, chuckles, ah, yes, ah, yes, I know you'll be happy here, growl, huh, ah, well, how did you get out, little fella, chuckles, you're a cute little devil, aren't you, what's that you got there, screeching, screams, spike shivers, groaning, ace, where's the bat, what is this about, who are you, German accent, where is the bat, I know who you are, I met you at Cadby's, you're that, Ventura fella, in normal voice, last chance, where is that darn bat, what are you going to do, what are you going to do, whatever I have to do to get some answers, Quinn gasping, scraping, groaning, stop that, stop it, stop that, you'd like me to stop that, wouldn't you, I'm getting to you, okay, you stand watch, yo, Dominic, there's no engines, what are they planning on racing with, hopes and dreams, I don't know, but they're sneaky as shit, and they've got enough money to buy anything, cell phone ringing, what, we got a wolf pack, it's Johnny Tran, and he's coming your way really fast, D-O-M, alright, we got company, Spilner, come on, move, Johnny, let me ask you a question, Ted, do you see anything wrong here, no, we got no engines, do we, no, do we, no, a couple of Nissan SR20 motors will pull a premium, dash one week before race one, Kim's got one, Lex back in, Kim's got one, Lex back in, another one for Ethan, Frank's got one, how's it going, Kelly, I keep breaking my plank, Probst, another one for Big Tom, another one for Ethan, Brandon on the board, ah, you've got to be joking, Probst, Frank has his second one in, Ethan down to two, Lex is down to three, Brandon's down to four, Ethan down to one, Lex down to two, Ethan, you're on your last one, but Lex is right on your heels, Big Tom, Frank's down to four, let's move it, come on, woo, Probst, Kelly, welcome to the, game, Brandon needs three, Lex needs two, Ethan needs one, there it is, that's it, it's over, Ethan wins, good job, Ethan, you did great, Probst, all right, Ethan, here's the deal, I'll take good care of your goats tonight, tomorrow morning, show up at camp and take your goats, you might want to bring a few personal items if you have them, want to get rid of them, something to barter, might have value, we'll go to a small little village, make a day of it, all right, Probst, congratulations, if that one hat gets everybody something, just do that, I don't care, they'll be like, it's the hat guy, yeah, right now, everyone is giving me some stuff to trade away at the old market place or wherever I end up, this hat wants something sweet, this hat might want a belt or a bracelet, this hat wants, anything, anything, other than this, hat, gruel, probst, yo, Ethan, yeah, look who's here, oh, yeah, probst, how's breakfast, good, we got a little grey gruel going, probst, got a bag full of personal stuff you're going to, barter, yeah, got some hats, got some sunglasses, probst, cool, alright, have a great time, have fun, probst, you guys, you guys want to walk him out, sure, probst, you guys remember, ABI, he welcomed you when you first, got here, up, 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 down, 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 later, guys, have a great day, I'll see you, have a great time, alright, Ethan, hi, oats, probst, I want to make sure, you can handle those goats, take a seat by them and make, sure they're alright, come on, have a seat, how do you lay down, I'm not feeling real good about this, Probst, I think you need to, bring one more person with you, oh, Probst, grab somebody because we've got to run, when Jeff said, you know, pick somebody, my exact, reaction was I don't want to choose anyone to take because, it's a huge political decision and the only thing I could think, of quick enough was, you know, the person that was close to, winning, but didn't, Lex because he came in second, and that's my only clarification for coming, Lex, let's go, yeah, way to go, have fun, Lex, good choice, he came in second, he battled me, good choice, good choice, if you get to trade Lex, you, no, you get some more stuff, good luck, bye, guys, look at that, bye, guys, look at that, this is crazy, we had to keep a couple of, goats come and keep them still because the whole point of the, trip was for us to take two goats into this village and be, able to trade or barter them for money so we could buy some, goods, of course, huh? yeah, probably, you're a smart fans, Ted, maybe too smart, what are you feeling, Lance, 40 weight, 50 weight, a 40 weight sounds nice, Ted groaning, where are they, Ted, where are they, Dash, muffled, enough, where are they, they're in a warehouse, they're in a warehouse, man, Ted coughing and gagging, Johnny, Ted, kiss my shoes, let's go get our engines, my superiors are flying in from DC in two days, I want something to show, we've got a fence with a lube hose in his mouth, automatic weapons, priors on every one of these Asian punks, a garage full of DVD players and generally psychotic behavior, tell me why we shouldn't move on Tran now and figure it out later, because all we have is show me the real books, then we figure out my cut, then L will be on my way, open my books, this is what you suggest, wasn't a suggestion, boss, these are dangerous days, if you believe the talk talk boss, about dead planets, about some ghost army, about them, them, L run the numbers again, LT takes a couple of days probably, so you can stay as my guest, at least here we are all safe, yes, guard, yes, boss, I'll give it a day, one, GUV, there are inmates, and there are convicts, a convict has a certain code, and he knows to 
show a certain respect. An inmate, on the other hand, pulls the pin on his fellow man. Does the guards work for them? Brings shame. Dot to the game. So which are you gonna be? Me. I'm just passing through. Welcome to Crematoria. Should I go for the sweet spot? Left of the spine. Fourth lumber down the abdominal aorta. What a gusher. How do I get eyes like that? You got to kill a few people. Did that. Did a lot of that. And then you got to get sent to a slam. Where you're told you won't see daylight again. There wasn't a doctor who could shine my eyes. Not even for 20 menthol ghouls. Was anything you said true? What are you gonna do? Go for the sweet spot. Remember who you're talking to. Jen, sorry. I just hallucinated. What? Yeah. She. She was my girlfriend in prep school. And well, we got back together this summer. At my grandmother's birthday party. Warner told me all about you. You're famous at our club. But he didn't tell me you'd be here. Who bear? I didn't know she would be here. Excuse me. Engine revving. It's over. You told me. Engine revving. Alone now. I know that. You're never. Tires squealing. Rock music. Oh, thank God. What are you doing? Move it blonde. Come on. Really? Where are you going? What are you doing? Figures. You couldn't drive. Tires squealing. L whimpering. Are you free? Sniffling. It's an emergency. Bad day. You can't even imagine. People chattering. Spill. I worked so hard to get into law school. I blew off Greek week to study for the sets. I even hired a Coppola to direct my admissions video. All to get my boyfriend Warner back. And now he's engaged to this awful girl, Vivian. So it was all for nothing. And I, I just wish. I just wish I had never gone to Harvard. After you went to all that trouble. He's engaged. She's got the six carat Harry Winston on her bony, unpolished finger. All that size. What am I supposed to do? You're a skin the wrong girl. I mean, I'm with my guy eight years. And then one day it's, I met someone else. Move out. Oh no, that's awful. Dewey kept the trailer. And my precious baby, Rufus. I didn't even get to throw him a birthday party. No, I mean, what's a girl to do? He's a guy who followed his pecker to greener pastures. And I'm a middle-aged high school dropout who's got stretch marks and a fat ass. That's terrible. Yeah, happens every day. So what's this Vivian got that you don't have? Three tits. Size. She's from Connecticut. She belongs to his stupid country club. Is she as pretty as you? She could use some mascara and some serious highlights. But she's not completely unfortunate looking. Receptionist, how ya doing? Neptunes. Hello, ladies. Hey there. How ya doing? Sign here. Paulette whimpers. Oh, oh gee. Oh, look what I did. See you later. Bye, sugar. Oh, shit. Could I have been any more goddamn spastic? It's okay. Are you sure this Warner guy is like the one? Definitely. I love him. MMM. Well, if a girl like you can't hold onto her man, then they're sure as hell it's just a dummy grenade. Explosion. Damn. Oh, exhales. Who's the dummy now? Alex. So what? LSLT. Exactly. Concentrated the plays an L. What the hell? LS that. It's LLKE a super laxative. THLS you'll pack enough punch to take out an Indora football team. Pain will never get off the can. He'll be mocking beef stool. TLL graduate lawn. Yeah. All RLGHT. Pain will never know what HLTHLM. Shout skill. Major pain. SLR. Can't you see I'm evil? Third. There's a call for you. SLR. He's calm out. He's calm out. MMMMMM smack. Loud gurgle. Gurgle. Loud fart. Pain L endles tans ready. Alex Dam. He nearly put you L in a coma. Ready on the FLRLNG range. It can't be legal the way he's been treating us. Turds. Commence FLRLNG. Let's just tell PHILs. Gunshots L endles tans. Nah, that's an old fool. ALNT gonna help us. Pain what KLND of shit on LS that. Hey, hey, dummy. What's the matter? You can't see. Elder. You gotta get RLD of that son of a BLTCH. Pain you maggots couldn't HLT of bull LNDS. We're gonna have to prove. Randall. Gunshots can tell you. Pain DLD something so beal. So perverse. So disgusting. That PHILs will have no choice but to floor HLM. LLKE what? Why may cause you have got the blood is TLTS. All laugh. SHH SHH. Ahem. Well, why not Wilgar? Cause Wilgar's gotta take the pilchers. Snarling. Kindle news. Alex Holel Spurling. Look, it's been four hours. He hasn't BLNKED. These spec loud forces guys can sleep. WLTH Del Rise open. Trust me. What happened to the other dress? THLS1 Spritler. Smothered Goggles. Shut up, Berlin. SHH. Come on. WI Lambs. Go. Door creaks. WI Lambs man. You sure about THLS? He looks awake to me. Nisbrick. We need the car back now. Say, how about a treat? There's Bavarian cream. Yeah, that's a good one there. It's good. It's great. I have a lot of them. You know what? Forget about it. Okay. Psych. Oh, jeez. You got me. Hey, fellows. Who's the goose? Me. You're such a joker. Pizza call. One. Damn. Chick one. Where are Jesse and Chester? What? We're looking for Jesse and Chester. I don't know where they are. Not, but I bet those punks over there do. So then, remember, I said, later, dudes. Why were you with those jerks anyway? They were just being nice. Dot. Unlike someone I know. Maybe it's time I find someone with a sensitive side. Someone who respects me as a person. Maybe somebody like Jesse or Chester. Okay, listen up. We're gonna find Jesse and Chester. And when we do, stoner bashing time. Chick one, do you know Jesse and Chester? Who are you? We are hot chicks. Yes, you are. We believe they have the continuum transfunctioner. However, if you recover the continuum transfunctioner from them, dot and bring it to us, we will give you erotic pleasure. You've got yourselves a deal. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, new plan. First, we find those stoners, get the continuum transfunctioner. Dash dot then, it's jerk bashing time. Yeah, oh, yeah, I just remembered where you might be able to find them. Tommy, send those chicks to meet the twins. That'll put those dudes in some hot water. Beeping. Try it again. Okay, just knock it out of the park. All right, give it a shot. Okay, you almost got it. Now just concentrate. All gasping. Careful, Robin. You go too far. I've only just begun. I've come to warn you that if you do not stop levying these evil taxes, I shall lead the good people of England in a revolt against you. And why should the people listen to you? Because, unlike some other Robin Hoods, I can speak with an English accent. All murmuring. Oh, to tell you the truth, this guy is starting to get on my nerves. Worry not, your highness. I shall dispose of this feathered upstart. I challenge you to a duel. Gasps. Laughing. Yes, gasping. I accept. Whoa, that's going to cost you. Loxley, please put it on my bill. So it's come down to this, has it? A fight to the death. Mano a mano. Man to man. Just you and me. And my guards. Oh, check please. Table one. Ah, uh, gasping. Yes, gasping. Gasps, laughing. Door slam open. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, shouts. Hurry, let's get out of here. All screaming. Ah, uh, ah, uh, refreshment, sir. Ah, uh, thank you. Blinking. Sounds like we're winning, sir. Indeed, we are. Carry on. Right, you are. Shouting, grunting. Save me. Save me. Hurt them. Hurt them. Yes, save them. Save them. Hurt you. Hurt you. I've got it. Oh, uh, screaming. Grunting. Here for some dessert. Man, one, two, three. Fire. Babe Marion. Do you believe in love at first sight?
hacks, you're all kidding yourselves. Even with top of the line crypto, Cray access, Stu 3s, Krieger can get it, right? May take a little time, even a little time. That's not what Claire tells me about you. Luther, thinking machine laptops. I'm talking about the 686 prototypes with the artificial intelligence risk shift. 24 hours. Luther chuckles. And, uh, I get to keep the equipment when we're done. Luther, I guess you're all out of excuses. Look, uh, I just can't have my way inside. See, there's no modem access to the mainframe. It's in what we call the standalone, which means I'll have to be physically at the terminal. Relax, Luther. It's much worse than you think. The terminal is in a black vault lockdown. Ethan, the only person allowed in the room, has to pass through a series of security checks. William Don Lowe. Ethan, the first is a voice print identification and a six-digit access code. This only gets him into the outer room. Next, he has to pass a retinal scan. And finally, the intrusion countermeasures are only deactivated by a double electronic key card, which we won't have. Starve. If she doesn't eat with me, then she doesn't eat at all. Oh, dear. That didn't go very well at all, did it? Lumiere, stand watch at the door and inform me at once if there is the slightest change. You can count on me. Mon Capitaine. Well, we might as well go downstairs and start cleaning up. I asked nicely, but she refuses. What does she want me to do? Beg. Show me the girl. But the master's really not so bad. Once you get to know him, why don't you give him a chance? I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I'm just fooling myself. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. It's hopeless. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've been burned by you before. Dude, Alor. She has emerged. Come on, chip into the cupboard with your brothers and sisters. But I'm not sleeping. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I work and I slave all day long. And for what? A culinary masterpiece gone to waste. Stop your grousing. It's been a long night for all of us. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, he did say please. But if the master doesn't learn to control that temper, he'll never break the splendid to see you. Out and about, mademoiselle. I am Cogsworth, head of the household. This is Lumiere. Enchanty Cherie. If there's stop that, anything we please can do to make your stay more comfortable. I am a little hungry. You are. Hear that? She's hungry. Stoke the fire. Break out the silver. Wake the china. Remember what the master said. I, they want to. Man, that's not what I heard. No, we did. We got Jester. No, no. Below the hard deck does not count. Hard deck, my ass. We nailed that son of a bitch. You guys really are cowboys. What's your problem, Kaczynski? You're everyone's problem. That's because every time you go up in the air, you're unsafe. I don't like you because you're dangerous. That's right, Iceman. I am dangerous. Maverick, you and Goose get your butts out of that flight gear and up to Viper's office now. Remember, boys, no points for second place. You're a lot brighter than you look. Oh, you shut up. Okay, don't worry, Goose. Don't worry. Okay, I will. Two of your snot nosed jockeys did a flyby on my tower at over 400 knots. I want somebody's butt. I want it now. I've had it. Oh, god damn it. That's twice. I want some butts. Well, that'll just about cover the flybys. Follow me, gentlemen. You had a hell of a first day. The hard deck for this hop was 10,000 feet. You knew it. You broke it. You followed Commander Heatherly below. After he lost sight of you and called no joy. What, sir? I had Commander Heatherly in my sights. He saw me move in for the kill. He then proceeded below the hard deck. We weren't below 10,000 for more than a few seconds. I had the shot. There was no danger, so I took it. You took it and broke a major rule of engagement. Then you broke another one. With that circus stunt flybot. Sighing. Lieutenant Mitchell. Top gun rules of engagement exist for your safety and for that of your team. They are not flexible, nor am I. Either obey them or your history. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Dismissed. Sighing. I really enjoyed that. Mav, thanks a lot. Holy shit. Goose sighing. Maybe I could learn how to be a truck driver. Mav, you have the number of that truck driving school we saw on TV. Truck master, I think it is. I might need that. Where is it touching you? It's touching me down there, and I'm nervous. You don't have to be nervous, Will. We start dancing and dancing. It's just beautiful. Cause we can make a lot of love before the sun goes down. Skyrockets in flight. Afternoon delight. Hey, 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 afternoon delight, Jesus. Skyrockets in flight. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, Rich. I have better things to do with my time. Hey, hey, afternoon delight. Come on. One dance. You really hypnotized me, you know. For God's sake, Will. What? Oh, come on. He left. You can't pin that on me. I told you to cooperate with these people. Look into my eyes. Get out, Will. I don't need therapy. That's enough. Get out. Imitating spooky sound. I called Mel Weintraub this morning to see. Oh, what's the use? What do you want to do? Size well, there is someone. Who is he? He used to be my, my roommate in college. Trust. Very important in a relationship. It's also very important in a clinical situation. Why is trust the most important thing? In making a breakthrough with a client, Maureen, stop the oral fixation for a moment and join us, Vinny. Underscore um, because, uh, trust is, a uh, trust is life. Wow, that's very deep. Thank you, Vinny. Professor, next time, get the notes from your brother. If a patient doesn't feel safe enough to trust you, then they won't be honest with you. Then there's really no point for them being in therapy. I mean, hey, if they don't trust you, you're never gonna get them to sleep with you. That should be the goal of any good therapist. Nail and while they're vulnerable. That's my motto. Laugh Oh good, everyone's back. Welcome back everybody. Hello, Sean. Hey, Gary. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the presence of greatness. Professor Gerald Lambeau, Fields Medal winner for combinatorial mathematics. Hello. Anyone know what the Fields Medal is? It's a really big deal. It's like the Nobel Prize for math, except they only give it out once every four years. It's a great thing. It's an amazing honor. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. Thanks. We'll see you Monday. We'll be talking about Freud. Why he did enough cocaine to kill a small horse. Thank you. How are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you, Sean. I think I got something interesting for ya. Yeah. yeah. What? You have to have blood and urine. What's up? Why didn't you come to the reunion? You know, I might been busy. You were missed, really. So how long has it been since we've seen each other before Nancy died. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was in Paris. It was that damn conference. I got your card. But the ride was so bumpy. I mean it was an absolute ball buster. Oh, oh, my gosh. We finally arrived. The town ended up being named Wamba. It was a small little village. Maybe one street with stores on it. The whole thing was a surreal experience. I'm experiencing extreme culture shock. I am, too. I didn't know that when we got into the village, that it would be up to Ethan and I to actually get the goats off. We got to get the goats. This is going to be pure comedy. No, it's not that bad. We already had a crowd of the locals, you know, watching two very out of place guys chucking goats out of huge trucks. We were the laughing stock before. We even set foot
that it was. This is not a punishment or a hazing. I know nothing about goats, and I was looking around for some sort of hint, some sort of direction, and just got nothing. Everyone is staring at us and you're definitely in the hot seat. We don't stand out though, do we? No, not at all. I was panicked. I had no idea what to do. We just started shopping them around. I'm selling a goat. Are you interested in buying a goat? $1,500. $1,000? I'll give you 500 each. 500 each? Oh, no, no, no. They know where they're going. I'm selling a goat. Anybody interested? Somebody already offered us. 1000 for this one. Do you want to buy a goat? You know who wants to buy goats? No. He'll grow. He's just young. He's a baby. You want to sell the small one? We want to sell them both. 1800 1800 is too much money. 12 or 16. The best we've gotten so far. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Want to see where they're taking the goats? They're going to take the goats somewhere and get 2000. We could have got attached to the goats on that 3 H hour trip. I thought maybe they were going to end up in a flock and they were going to be these happy goats that kind of, you know, cruise around the countryside, eating grass and maybe mating or whatever. We saw him turn around with the two goats and he made a beeline, not 20 feet away from us straight into the butchery. Oh, they got a good deal. Be that as it may, we had 25 bucks to spend growing. We were clearly a couple of things to see in that village. We had a constant kind of entourage that followed us around, many of which weren't even talking to us. They were just staring at us. Somebody from the village, obviously the guy that's in the know or hooked up with everybody, immediately latched onto us and said, I can take you to the best place in town. Is it good food? Yeah, good food. A good restaurant there. All right, we're going to be eating. Here, we sat down and asked for a menu. They didn't have a menu, but the guy basically told us, yeah, we have three things here. The maize we didn't want anything to do with because that's the mush we're eating here. Meat we weren't feeling super safe about because we saw a lot of cats kind of milling around. We weren't quite sure what that meant. And then French fries sounded, I mean, right off the bat that sounded great. Two chips and then a big soda, beer. Thank you. This is incredible. I got a soda and Lex got a beer. Thank you very much. And it was cold and it was crisp. Cheers. Thank you for the trip. No problem. Oh, yes. This is the best French fries. It was nice. Grunting. Come here. Now that's a good takedown. Hey, what happened? Did you get leniency or what? I got a probation and then counseling two days a week. Joe, you're a smoothie. Come on, Morgan. Just submit. Rolling. Chuckling. Hey, Bill. Just, just get off him. We're gonna miss the game. I've got a full schedule. I'm very busy. John, John. This, this boy is incredible. I've never seen anything like him. What makes him so incredible? Gary, you ever heard of Ramanujan? Yeah, yeah. No, it's a man. He lived over one. What's mom doing? She's uh, teaching these bitches a lesson. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Chanting. Go, go, go. Why is she puking so much? It's for Asperger's, try pie, motherfuckers, vomits, mom, you should try and stay hydrated, what, what are you doing, how about some tunes, seals kiss from a rose playing over speakers, oh, my god, I can't believe it, I love this song, guys, it's seal, hey, everybody sing it with me, singing there used to be a graying tower alone on the sea, in normal voice come on, guys, singing you became the light on the dark side of me, in normal voice deb, singing love remained a drug that's the high and not, in normal voice guys, no, singing did you know that when it snows, in normal voice Kevin, James, singing my eyes become large, is this a man or a woman singing, it's a man, and the coolest man ever, he overcame lupus, singing baby I compare you to a kiss from a rose on the gray, in normal voice I can't believe no one in this family wants to sing. Singing stranger it feels, yeah. In normal voice Batman forever, singing that your rose is in bloom. In normal voice Val Kilmer, singing a light hits the gloom on the gray. Horn honks and tires screeching, he's come back to kill us. Gun it Russ, gunning it. James, you gotta go faster. Dad, go faster. The prancer doesn't go any faster. Debbie, what do we do? Maybe if I press this rabbit button, it'll give it a boost or something. Rusty, yes, try it. Why is there a button for that? And why is it a rabbit? Okay, uh, rocket, here you go. Try that. Rusty, yes, what? What's happening? Why am I swiveling? I don't know. Grab the wheel, it won't stop. Hit the gas, hit the gas. Okay, I'm trying to hit all screaming. We're gonna die. Okay, I got the wheel. I got the wheel. Okay, okay, Debbie. Okay, what are we gonna do? I have an idea. What? Handbrake turn. What? Pull the wheel left. Yank the handbrake. Do a 180. Cross the median. Drive past him. You know how. that If Ben Diesel can do it, so can I. Why are you as good as Ben Diesel? Hang on. All screaming. That's not what I was trying to do. Everybody okay. Oh, shit. Tires screeching. Go, Dad. Go, go. Oh, my God. All screaming. Computer speaks in Korean and all gas. Oh, shit. Getting to me. I'm listening. I have to work. My hula career is falling to pieces and you're worried about stinking work? Stitch needs you to be patient with him. He did it on purpose. You don't mean that. You should have seen the way he was acting. Aren't you being overdramatic? His goodness level is at rock bottom. Elvis Presley. I need your love tonight. Tires screeching. Oh, oh, I love you so. Uh, uh, I can't let you go. Oh, oh, don't tell me no. I need your love tonight. Oh, D, the way you kiss. Sweetie, too good to miss. Lowdy, I want more of this. I need your love tonight. I've been waiting just for tonight to do some loving and hold you tight. Don't tell me, baby, you gotta go. I got the hi fi high and the lights down low. Hey, now, hear what I say. Oh, wow, you better stay. Now, now, don't run away. I need your love tonight. Whistling. I need your love tonight. I need your love tonight. Oh, oh, I love you so. Uh, uh, I can't let you go. Oh, oh, don't tell me no. I need your love tonight. Oh, G, the way you kiss. Sweetie, too good to miss. Lowdy, I want more of this. I need your love tonight. I need your love more. Resistant to my love, dust and expected. No 
matter. Next time I'll just give them a stronger dose. They'll literally be dying for me. Mm, Turkish baths. This looks promising. Bane roaring. Laughing. Bane roaring. Poison ivy. Mm, a fixer upper. But with a certain homey charm. Ah, a minus. Current tenants. Hello. My little pretty. 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 Hello yourself. You look good enough to eat. That I am. Come and get me. If you can. With pleasure. Let's redecorate. I've always hankered for something on the water. What is this floor? It took God seven days to create paradise. Let's see if I can do better. Good babies. Grow for mommy. Bane. Darling. I found a fellow who strikes my fancy. A cool customer. Yes. I see demeanor. No question. But I detect a certain ruthless charm I may be able to use. To my advantage. Honey. Clean up this mess. We've got company coming. Bane. Honey. Company. Julie. Bruce. Mm. We've been going out for over a year now. And. Okay. Here it goes. I want to spend my life with you. I'm not the marrying kind. There are things about me you wouldn't understand. I know you're a dedicated bachelor. You've had your wild nights. Wild doesn't. Doesn't quite cover it. You'll make someone a good husband one day. But I can't wait forever. Look. I don't want to pressure you. Because if I do. You'll just shut down. I know the way you are. Think about it. Just promise me you'll think about it. Okay. You don't have to answer all. Singing. Or he's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. You guys are the best bunch of friends. A fellow could hope for. Men laughing. What a party. And now. For the peace of resistance. Men exclaiming. Tata. Tata. Mumbling. That poor girl. Lurch. Was she in there before you baked? Snickers. Grunts. Chattering. Say lobby. All laughing. Are you really allergic? Uh huh. To almost everything. No. You're not. AM. Too. I can't have dairy products. Or wear wool. Or drink fluoridated water. Do you know what happens if my mom uses a fabric softener? What? I die. Wednesday. Where are you? Joel. Over here. Where? By the skeleton. I, I got your message inside my cutlet. I need to ask you something. What? Do you believe in the existence of evil? Well, did you meet my mom? My uncle Fester's about to get married to this woman in a white uniform. A radiologist. A nanny. But I have to go to the wedding. I have a pass. Do you want to come? You mean, like, on a date? No. I'd love to. Organ playing. Playing the wedding march. Chattering. Chattering. I, Fester Adams, do hereby declare my unending love. Sobbing. I will worship you forever. I will devote my every waking moment to your happiness alone. Sobbing. Oh, Fester, henceforth I am your eternal and helpless slave. Nice. Ditto. All cheering. You're going to have a wonderful life together. Yes, I am. Come, darling. Let's see who's the next happy bride. Woman one. Come on. Woman two. Here, Debbie. Woman three. To me. To make me. I have it. No. I have it. No. I have it. It's mine. I got it. Now you have to get married. It's not binding. Tramp. Woman one. But. Woman two. Congratulations. Man one. Sure. Where'd I stash you? You're not even gonna tell us. I wouldn't even tell the Pope. Sigh. I'm not gonna get this. This is too complicated. Don't you worry. You'll get the hang of it. I'll help you. Thank you. Are you always this cheerful? Am I? Chuckle. All right. I am. I know it. I can't help it. I've always been upbeat, optimistic, perky. Even as a child, my mother used to say, that girl is pure sunshine. She'll either grow up to be a nun or a stewardess. Coffee. Enough about me. What about you? What convent did you come from? I came from the convent of the Sisters of the Moonlight in Reno. Oh, I love Reno. You do? Yes. You would have loved us. We were a pioneering order. You know, we'd never wear any habit this tight. This is really tight. I must say our habits do cut you at the neck just a bit. Here, here. Pounding that's enough jabber. Vanity. A progressive convent. Sounds awful. I like my convent in Vancouver, out in the woods. It wasn't all modern like these newfangled convents. We didn't have electricity. Cold water. Bare feet. Those were nuns. Sounds wonderful. It was hell on earth. I loved it. This place is a Hilton. Sister Mary Clarence. When did you get your call? What call? Oh, the call. The call. I didn't know which call you meant. I was working in Reno and I got the call. And you don't know how hard it is to get a call until you've worked in Reno. We were just, we ministered to a lot of different people. Newlyweds, bookers, gamblers. How fulfilling to get right in there and work with the people. And Reno, it's probably bursting with sin. It was. That's why I had to leave. We had a hooker living next door called Buckwheat Bertha who. Sister Mary Clarence, could I have a word with you? Who me? Yes, you. Yeah, excuse me. Get on with your work. Quickly, please. I was just talking to M. Precisely. Enough chatter. Chores. Rescue me. Rescue me. Oh, take me in your arms. Rescue me. I want your tender charms. Cause I'm lonely and I'm blue. I need you and your love too. Come on and rescue me. Come on, baby, and rescue me. Come on, baby, and rescue me. I'd sure like to get to that water first before the rest of those dummies go slobbering in it. But you heard the grown UPS hit. What about sharp teeth? What about M? Well, you tell him, but, uh, well, well, uh, they're bad. Uh, yeah, and scary too. Come on, you're just afraid of M as we are. Me, I'm not afraid of anything. Bet you are. Bet I'm not. You were afraid of those big flying rocks. I was not. I just ran because you guys did. I didn't want you to feel stupid. Well, then, prove it. All right, I will. I'm getting me some tasty water. And you babies can stay here. Well, I'm not a baby. Yeah, me neither. Uh, hit, wait. Uh, yeah, for us. One, we must act now. Two, we must not act rashly. They are so dumb. Didn't they hear what the grown UPS said about sharp teeth? I guess not. Well, if they get eaten, it'll just serve them, right? Sarah, that is not nice. I don't care. They deserve it. Uh, I don't know you guys. Maybe we should do something. Like what? Like, tell their parents to wear them. Since I obviously won't make the day for Emmett's fantasy baseball wedding, given that I don't have a chance of getting those important Congress people to co-sponsor my bill, which I need to get a hearing to stop animal testing, in order to reunite Bruiser with his mother, in order to have them at my wedding, in which I was going to wear the most perfect wedding shoes ever, right inside that box. They never covered this in the handbook. There's something. All right. You think? Oh, I'm sorry. L. Woods, legislative aide, the Congresswoman Rudd, Massachusetts. Sid Post, doorman, that door. All day I felt like white, open-toed shoes after Labor Day. I hate that feeling. Whatever that means, I better get going. If I'm going to pass a law, I have to work up some plan of attack with the Committee of N and Ron or whatever. But, Sid, come, what did you say? It's called the Committee of Energy and Commerce. Oh, yeah, right, thanks. This is really important to me, Grace. They wouldn't cover my Nana's anti-age cream, which means she only has one free hand for bingo. L. If I could get a hearing, where's your bill? Rena, the staff lawyers couldn't draft it for six weeks, but if you could talk to the congressman's aide, I could get on the agenda. We pushed prescription drugs last term. I have a lot of issues that come first. Rena, if Grace finds herself otherwise prioritized, maybe you could talk to this aide yourself, or better yet, directly to the congressman. Don't you have something to alphabetize? In fact, now that I think about it, with Rena's clear passion for the project, who better to write this bill than Rena? Me.
Ford. Zephod, is that you? Ford. Braxi Battle LX. What the hell are you doing here? I just stuck out my thumb and here I am. Zephod, that is so you. Ford, look at you. President of the galaxy. I can't believe you beat Hamakabula. Zephod, you Zarkin Fruit. I want you to meet a friend. Arthur, this is Zephod Beagle Brox. Oh, President of the galaxy. This is my cousin. He's a semi half brother. We share three of the same mothers. We've met. Laughs, have we? I'm sorry. I've got a terrible memory for species. This is him, Ford. Would you like to see my spaceship blow? Um, yeah, hello, Arthur, Trisha. How you doing? Hey, Trillion. This is my semi half brother LX. I'm sorry, Ford. Ha ha. Um, would you excuse us for a second, please? You went down on that little planet and didn't call me. Sorry, I didn't know. I had a galaxy to run. Arthur, hi, Trisha McMillan, right? I think he called you Trillion. Which of us got the right one? I shortened it. Something a little more spacey, right? I was thinking of changing mine too. I don't know, Arthulia. Laughs, that's a good one. Well, this is weird. How'd you get here? I just stuck out my thumb, right? In your pajamas. I was in a hurry. Okay, did you know I was here? Don't flatter yourself. I've got a spaceman too. Yeah, that's kinda like the dingo shuffle. Yeah, okay, um, look, I left you at the party. I feel bad, but I was gonna call you when I got back. Well, there is no going back now, is there? You do know what happened? Enough small talk. We're on the run, remember? Excuse me, we're having a chat. Well, I think the girl's getting boo. You blew it with her, Earthman, so shut your face or I'll kick you in the zatch. You wanna fight? Okay, no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm a kidder. Let's be friends. Let's connect. You and L. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Popped right out of the box. You foxy, yeah. Teach your pal a lesson, Ford. He's a guest on my ship. Since he's a guest on my ship, I thought you said you stole it. Thud. Stole what? What are we talking about? Electronic klaxon. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. Whoosh. Are you okay? Just fabulous. Thanks, Trill. A little help over here. I'm in over my head. I'll take care of this. Good Zarquan, do I have to do everything? Laughing at Tom, honey, I'm gonna be home late tonight. I got another press conference. Come on. Whatever happened to that stud who sat across from me at dinner every night? He got his dream job, remember? Door closes. Yelling. Bye, Dad. See ya, buddy. Beans croaks. Tell the masses I'm running about 15 minutes late. Day 14 on the alien planet. Henry, where you going? To sign up for football. And, no, you can't come. Sarah, could this place be any more boring? There's, like, nothing to do around here. I could give you a makeover. Alrighty, then. Chattering. Girl, Becky. Girl, too. Yeah, ha. Huh? I'm Charlie Baker. Oh, yeah. Tom Baker's boy. Read where his old buddy shake threw him a bone. Man, offense or defense. I'm a quarterback. Yeah, well, maybe in Calpy, Illinois. This is 4A. Skippy. The Bigs. Put him on defense. Cornerback. By the way, when you show up for practice, don't be wearing that hat. Okay, uh, let's see. Who's next? Yes, it's been reported that you like to blast music in your locker room. What? Uh, well, it loosens up the players and, uh, gets them psyched. Unless, of course, I start dancing. Then they just get nauseous. Reporters chuckling. At least we get to see him on TV. Reporter. Coach, how do you manage a family of 12 and a football team? Well, I've got a great team here and a solid support system at home. Go to bed, kids. Okay, you heard the coach. Off to bed. Here we go. Dash. Gunner groaning. In Midland, we were a family. Now we're a support system. A family is a support system. Butch. Ash. Groans. Ringing. Hello. Who's this? Somebody from something something. Okay. SHH. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Diane. This is business. Salmons and pinks are so homemaker. All right. Focus on your navies and your grays. Navy is muscle. Gray is smarts. Choose either and you'll rule the boardroom. What's going on? Guess what? Diane Phillips called. My book's getting published. Did I tell you we're gonna have it all? You've never said that. I'm telling you now, baby. I've ever had in my life. The platters were huge. They were swimming in about an eighth of an inch of like grease or oil, which was perfect because I have gone without fat or lard or grease for a month and I'm telling you it was like ambrosia are you all right yet yeah. I think the french fries were a definite shock to my system I mean my stomach has shrunk significantly I don't regret it but you know it went right through me it's like solitary confinement I wouldn't want to go there again that's for sure but you had to do it you know you can't not do it oh my god oh yeah my stomach hasn't felt full in a long time out here the feeling was great next on our agenda was trying to find sweets and goods for the tribe you'll be fair with us right yes sure I will be make you happy also we went to a marketplace unfortunately after our thousand shilling meal we were only left with about 600 shillings to get a whole bunch of stuff for the tribe this is nice dude you got a good one there I have sunglasses sunglasses yeah that's nice I don't really need that but yeah maybe just hold on to it maybe you just let me know this 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 or two hats I was bartering and you know I was trying to get a lot for a hat so all I have is this and this would she want this one you think oh and I have this shirt I traded right off my back one of my Reebok long-sleeved t-shirts they gave me a price, and I gave them my shirt off my back. I gave them my hat off my head. For even just two hours, I was a little bit part of their life. And see how things work. I had brought this hacky sack as my luxury item and I'm like, you know, when am I going to use this? And so we just started, you know, kicking it around and playing. Three, four, five. I'm sure they're like, how the hell does this kid know how to do this? You know, because I'm sure they don't see many white people that can play soccer or hacky sack. You know what? his name is Ethan back in the United States he's a soccer player the smiles on their faces were you know amazing and I think I made their day
away, and then as we were leaving, I, you know, I threw it to one of the little ones and I gave him my hacky sack and he was, like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's hard to describe in words everything that was going on in my head and in my body, but, like, it was an experience that, you know, I'll never be able to forget. Thank you. That was business. That was insane. As a life experience, it was a day I will never, ever forget, like, or the rest of my life. Look, they're all wearing our hats and stuff. Bye. I, I hadn't told anybody yet that I voted for Lex, and I won't anytime soon. Everywhere you turn, a little bit of scheming going on. It did work well with Lex, gone. So it's allowed us to do things that I don't think would have happened if he had stayed. This is going to be so much fun. Just kind of satisfying. Believe it or not, God bless her. Teresa has apparently gathered Kim and Brandon back under the original Samburu wings. Two individuals I can't put any trust in. But at this point in the game, I really have not much of a choice. So I I think it'll be a major D-Day invasion going on. If we're going to make a move, it has to be this tribal council. It has to be, because this is our only chance, right? The downside of going on a reward challenge. Oh, 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 MMM, oh, MMM, oh, my god. Can you guys just please wait till I leave the room? Can you hurry? Shutters. All right, there's one thing. What? They asked me to go to New York for a few days. Oh, Dasha, that was a good oh, as crowd laughing. Man one, hey, honey, this ain't Captain Kangaroo. Hey, honey, I got something here for you. God damn it, hey, hey, stupid jerk. I'm singing a song here. Polly, get out here. Shut up there. Man two, don't be so shy. Honey, Jenny, oh, shut up. Forrest, what are you doing here? What are you you doing? Man 3, hey, come on, what are you doing? Forrest, let me down. Crowd exclaiming, you can't keep doing this, Forrest. You can't keep trying to rescue me all the time. They was trying to grab you. A lot of people tried to grab me. Jess, you can't keep doing this all the time. I can't help it. I love you. Forrest, you don't know what love is. You remember that time we prayed, Forrest. We prayed for God to turn me into a bird so I could fly far, far away. Yes, I do. You think I could fly off this bridge? What do you mean, Jenny? Nothing. I gotta get out of here. Wait, Jenny. Forrest, you stay away from me. Okay, you just stay away from me, please. Can I have a ride? Man, where are you going? I don't care. Get in the truck. So, bye bye, Jenny. They sending me to Vietnam. It's this whole other country. Just hang on a minute. Listen, you promise me something, okay, just if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave, you just run, okay, just run away, okay, Jenny, I'll write you all the time, Forrest, and just like that she was gone, you come back safe to me, do you hear, now, they told us that Vietnam was gonna be very different from the United States of America, and except for all the beer cans and the barbecue, it was, hey, I bet there's shrimp all in these waters, they tell me these Vietnams is good shrimpers, you know, after we win this war, and we take over everything, we can get American shrimpers, to come out here and shrimp these waters, we'll just shrimp all the time, man, so much shrimp, why, you wouldn't believe it, you must be my FNGs, morning, sir, morning, sir, get your hands down, do not salute me, there's goddamn Damn snipers all around this area. Who would love to grease an officer? I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. What's wrong with your lip? I was born with big gums, sir. Yeah, well, you better tuck that in. Gonna get that caught on a trip wire. Where are you boys from in the world? Alabama, sir. Alabama, sir. You twins. No, we are not related between the clips and the claws. This isn't good. Good luck joking your way out of this one. What's your name, sir? Growl. All right. Do you need a hug? Why don't we talk and we just talk? Good talk. Hey, need a ride? Jump. Trust me. I told you. You could trust me. Hang a left. Go right. Why are you looking at me like that? Unbelievable. They have missed the train or not. I know. It's not very good, is it? Well, that was so awesome. You with the snowballs and you with that little bear in that snowball fight. It was so cute. But then you with the log. The look on your face was so good. And then we, you know, we make a pretty good team. Kate and Humphrey, world adventurers. What do you think? I think you're crazy. You think I'm? No, I'm telling you, we're onto something here. Stick with me, Puck. We'll go places. Well, I'll keep that in mind. All right. Take a deep breath. How from right here, and I'll join in. Humphrey, what are you doing? I'm sorry. The moon. The moment. I just thought. Come on, Kate. How are doing? Great, aren't we? B L R D I E. No difference whatsoever. Great. Thank God. You can count on me for anything. Support rallies, picket lines. We can get the times to write something. Or that nut from the observer. What? What nut in the observer? M L R A N D A. Frank something or other. The one who's in love with his typewriter. This is just the sort of thing that would outrage him. Frank, a nut. She called me a nut. Kathleen, that's not the point. She thinks my store is in trouble. Why would she say that? There's enough business for us all. Frank, yes, there is. No question. We are fine. You're more than fine. You're absolutely fine. We are fine. Yes. How are you? Fine, fine. Vince will be so happy to see you. Frank, congratulations. Guess who I saw on the subway today? Speaking indistinctly. E A T R L C L A. This is amazing. He said, You should go to a retreat. You really should go to a retreat. Honey, will you get me another drink? I'm all out. It's a really great place to calm down. He said that to me. L S N T that hilarious. Champagne, please. Slowly on the rocks, but a fresh glass, please. White wine, please. Bartender, here you go. Thank you. Oh, hello. Ha ha. Do you remember me from the bookstore? Of course I remember you. Yes. How's your aunt? She's great. Thanks. I'd better go deliver this. I have a very thirsty date. She's part camel. Joe. Right. Joe. Isn't it? And you are Kathleen. Kathleen Kelly. Two white wine, please. I cannot believe that you were speaking to Joe Fox. Joe Fox. Joe Fox. As in as in. He's gonna take over everything. Fox. Your last name is Fox. F O X. God. I didn't realize. I didn't know who you were with. In deep V O L C E. I didn't know who you were with. Excuse me. In normal voice, it's from the Godfather. Sorry. It's from the Godfather. It's when the movie producer realizes that Tom Hagen is an emissary of Vito Corleone just before the horse's head ends up in the bed, with all the bloody sheets, wakes up and it's, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, never mind, you were spying on me, weren't you, you probably rented those children, why would L spy on you, because I am your competition, would you know, or you wouldn't have put up the sign, just around the corner, our store entrance is around the corner, there's no other way to say it, it's screaming, Nordberg, Frank, stop, stop right now, I've had it, I said stop, Nordberg screaming, whoa, Nordberg, oh, no, Nordberg, hell, horn sounding rhythmically, Dreben, police squad, what do we have, it's a tense situation, Savage is holed up in that house, says he's got hostages, he could be
going home to roost. How are you doing, trooper? Hey, stop firing. Hold it. Stop firing. Stop firing. Stop firing. All right, give me the bullhorn. This is Frank Driven, police squad. Throw down your guns and come out with your hands up. Or come on out, then throw down your guns, whichever you want. Remember the two key elements. One, guns to be thrown down. Two, come on out. You just try and take me. Driven, I've got more if you want them. Copper, looks like he's holding all the cards. Not all the cards. Savage, how about it? You can't drive that tank. You're not checked out on it. Don't worry, Ed. Just keep him busy. All right, what do you want? I want a car out front. Something fun. A Porsche. Then I want a plane ticket to Jamaica. And I want a nice hotel. No touristy place. Something indicative of the people and their culture. We can't do that. We're calling your bluff. Now put your hands on top of your head and come out. We've got you surrounded front end. Hey, gasping. Frank, what are you doing? Where are you going? Frank, dog yelping. People screaming. Giraffe squealing. Elephants trumpeting. Tank halts. Grunting. Then he started to float away. To save him they had to rip off his tongue. So now he had to talk like this all the time and do you ever stop talking? Oh, look. The night rainbow. You can see the spirits from here. You know about the great spirits? Yeah, my grandma's up there and my granddad. Mom says the spirits make all the magical changes in the world. Like how the leaves change color or the moon changes shapes or tadpoles change into frogs. Yeah, I get it. You know, for a change maybe they could just leave things alone. What do you mean? My brother's a spirit. If it wasn't for him, I, I wouldn't be here. You have a brother up there? What happened to him? He was killed by a, by a monster. What's your brother's name? Sitka. Thanks, Sitka. If it weren't for you, I would have never met Kina. I always wanted a brother. Lunch and being away for the whole day is, you know, people have a chance to plot against you, say good things about you, bad things about you. I don't see how the rewards can get that much better. I know. At this stage of the game, you don't want to piss anyone off. You know, we didn't want to go there and say, oh, it was the greatest thing ever and you guys didn't get to do it. Did you have fun? We want to hear about it. Come on in. Was it awesome? Was it a lot of fun? We wanted to be sensitive to the fact that it was probably tough for them to be left behind. While we went off and had a really great time and ate a bunch of food when they were eating, you know, a tiny portion of mush. We even got you guys treats. Everyone gets two. Oh, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. That tastes like coconut. That's very good. I just sucked it out. It was so good. Getting a treat like that out here, particularly something sweet that we've been craving, was just like the best gift. 33 cookies each. Oh, oh, my God. Did you carry all that back? Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Thank you. Ethan made them look so good. He deserved every bit of credit he got for bringing those cookies back. Ethan, we love you so much. Thank you so much. These are fabulous. MMM, these are good. Good? That feels great. Thank you, Frank. Okay, do you know where you're going? Oh, no, my shorts. Okay, this is what I gather. T told me that you're correct. Lex does think you voted for him. I refuse to spend my time here kissing up to him, trying to convince him I didn't vote against him. He might not be around. I was trying to work a little bit on Kelly and seeing whether or not she might come and vote with us because she is really kind of upset with Lex, but I don't want to push her too hard, so I'm waiting to see what happens at the immunity challenge. I'm not going to say that would make me sad, but after what happened last time I'm kind of gun shy about Kim she kind of asked me to vote with them, and I said no, I have to vote with my tribe, but, you know, best of luck with your little coup and we'll see what happens. Are you sure Frank's not in on that? Yeah, Frank's definitely in on this. Kelly said she wasn't going to vote for Lex, but I think there's part of her that does want to vote with us because she doesn't want Lex to be around. That's thinking with your head. Everything lays on the next immunity challenge. I mean, if Lex wins it, it's kind of back to game over for us. So everything lays on that. Probst, how's it going, guys? So everything lays on that. Probst, how's it going, guys? Great, good. Probst, first things first. Teresa, I hate to take it back, but you got to do what you got to do. Probst, did you like having that? I loved having it. Probst, immunity back up for grabs today. For today's challenge, I want you two guys to line up short in front, tall and back. I want to show you something, just right behind those rocks. Everybody ready? You have 30 seconds to study these items. Carefully memorize the placement of each item. Make sure you can see every box. If you can't, move so you can. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Head to your barrels. Everybody lift the lid off of your barrels. Take a look at your grid inside. Think of this like a phone pad. Going across from left to right is 1 through 9. So 1 is in your upper left hand corner. 5 is in the middle. 9 is in the bottom right. On my start, I'm going to give you an item. You need to find that item. Come back with it. Right, so, you want to play I spy? Alright, I'll go first. Okay, I spy something green. Tree. Oh, my turn? Yeah, okay. I spy something tall. Tree. Okay, I spy something with bark. Right, tree. Dash, two groans. Okay, I spy 
spy something. Uh, a vertical log. Tree. Okay. I spy something. Tree. My turn. Tree. No. I. It counts. I didn't even spy anything. It counts. Okay. Tree. Let's play something else. Boda. Come on. Boda. Wake up. Dash two more Monval. We're all glad the kindergarten class could join us. Sniggering. That's four minutes. You should be ashamed of yourselves. All the other grades. Your times were an improvement, but they're still not good enough. I'm very disappointed. All right. Let's get back into school. All chattering. Mrs. Sullivan. Mrs. Sullivan. BB. So the doctor says it's a stomach flu. I'm fine. I can eat anything I want. Let's find a restaurant. Can we talk business? There are 14 boys in the classroom. So far I have three possible suspects. One likely. Here's a picture. You listening? I'm listening. His name's Zach Sullivan. What do you think? He's cute. Doesn't anybody eat around here? Listen. He's a dead ringer for crisp. Look, baby. Come on, John. I'm hungry. A table for two. Thank you very much. Two hot dogs. Two hot dogs. Mr. Kimball. Mr. Kimball. Dominic. It's him. Mom. Joyce. Hello. Joyce. Dominic has been a great help. He's a good kid. Who's that? John. Who? Er. Oh, that. Uh, that is. Uh, in mock Austrian accent, I am his sister. Oh, really? I wouldn't have guessed. You have to excuse my brother. He has no manners. My name is Ursula. Wonderful to meet you. I'm visiting here from Austria. I'm Joyce Palmieri. I work at John's school. Ah, uh, and this is Dominic. Dominic, nice to meet you. Would you like to join us for dinner? No. J. J. Yes, of course. That would be great. Ah, uh, there will be four of us. Woman. Table 27. Why did you tell her you were my sister? Relax, Butch. The love doctor is here. Come to me. I want to start. Okay. I want a ribeye steak with mashed potatoes and a large green salad. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I want to start with the spicy chicken wings. Are they the tiny ones without meat? Actually, it's quite a large serving. Ah, uh, good. Oh, good arms. And a large bowl of the clam chowder. I mean, what am I? A junkman who sells art or an artist who sells junk? You tell me. Oh, guard. I like it. I think. Listen, you're, you're not gonna call my mom, are you? She doesn't know I'm out. Ah, uh, don't worry, kid. Look, it's not my style to report a guy to the authorities. Giant making sounds. Dean, I'm gonna have some coffee. What do you want? Some, uh, milk, or what? Milk. Coffee's fun. Yeah, I drink it. I'm hip. Clicks fingers. I don't know. This is espresso, you know. It's like coffeezilla. I said, I'm hip. So she moved me up a grade because I wasn't fitting in. So, now I'm even more not fitting in. I was getting good grades. You know, like always. So, my mom says, you need stimulation. And I go, no, I'm stimulated enough right now. That's for sure. She goes, uh, uh you don't have a challenge. You need a challenge. So, now I'm challenged. All right. I'm challenged to hold onto my lunch money. Because of all the big losers who want to found me. Because I'm a shrimpy dork who thinks he's smarter than them. But I don't think I am smarter. I just do the stupid homework. If everyone else just did the stupid homework, they could move up a grade and get founded too. Is there any more coffee? Look, it's really none of my business, kid. But, um, who cares what these creeps think? You know, they don't decide who you are. You do. You are who you choose to be. Clattering. Did you hear that? No, wait. Stop. Rowling gasps. It's okay. So when we were young, there was always a reason. There was a point. Things made sense. Now there's no point to anything. So what do we do? We garden. We outlived our time. Brother. Men cheering. Engine revs. Man, go get some beers. Man number two. All right. Hey, old man. How's that barbecue? Give me some. We're busy. Boy, get lost. All right. Man, what did you say? Here's a perfect example of what I've been talking about. Since this boy was suckling on his mama's tooth, he's been given everything but discipline, and now his idea of courage and manhood is to get together with a bunch of punk friends and ride around irritating folks. Too good natured to put a stop to it. Hey, who do you think you are? Huh? Just a dumb kid. Hug, don't kill him. Right, laughs. I'm Hug McCann. I fought in two world wars and countless smaller ones on three continents. I LED thousands of men into battle with everything, from horses and swords to artillery and tanks. I've seen the headwaters of the Nile, and tribes of natives no white man had ever seen before. I've won and lost a dozen fortunes, killed many men, and loved only one woman with a passion a flea like you could never begin to understand. That's who I am. Now, go home, boy. We'll show these old bastards who's tough. Get out your knife. Yeah, now, boys, you're fixing to let those teenage hormones get you into a world of trouble. Knives clatter on floor. Damn it, Gar, did I ask you to butt in? Oh, you just come out of the hospital. Well, there's, there's only four of them. Yeah, but look, you fight this one, sir. Totally focused, sir. Don't worry, it'll be easy since we don't have to guard Shira anymore. We need to move now. Batten down the hatches. Brad, voice the anchor, and Gumta, fly the colors. More sports, Captain. We'll set and sail for Ben Ann's lads. Ooh, I love Ben Ann's. Captain, Shira. Oh, what a relief. I thought we'd lost you. The mammoth, he washed ashore with me. He's, what, he's here. Did you sink your fangs into him? Did he beg for his life? No, the saber took me down. What? You're a failure. I need warriors and all I have are kitty cats and bunny rabbits and a seal and a kangaroo. You take the saber down or you die trying. No excuses. Yes, Captain. Mr. Squint. I, sir. Your first mate now. Yahoo! and a bottle of who with me, Captain. Out of my way, sailor. You answer to me now. God, listen. He's coming for the... Uh, grab your weapons, mates. Yes, a spoon flint. No, follow me. Let me at him. Yeah, it's their turn now. Guys, it's not necessary really. And yeah, I love you too. Yeah, get to the ship. Don't screw up. Get to the ship. Don't screw up. Unwind the vines. Don't let go. Unwind the vines. Don't let go. Unwind the vines. Don't let go. Receptacle in this vehicle. Now, look, the exit is about a mile away, and you can hold it. How far is a mile? L don't know. 5,000 and some kind of feet. Look, think of something else. Football, a math test, puberty. Are we there yet? No. I'm sure the carpet is absorbent. Oh, here it comes. For God's sakes, man, he's gonna make his water in your car. No, he ain't. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold it, man. Hold it. Oh, no. Look, right here. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. L and here, in here. Hold it, hold it. This is taken. I'm sorry. Oh, it's dribbling out. Okay, go, go. Just go. That's disgusting. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, lady. Hold up. Bought us some groceries for later. Your mama said you like fruit. Garlic olives? Hey, it's a truck stop. That's all they had. You see this? Because of you guys, L gotta do this right here. You squeeze it, not me. LT's not coming out. Hit that green button for me, please. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey, it's Marty. What's up, man? How's it going with those stupid brats you got with you? Remember this, if the kids hate you, the mama won't date you. Man, where'd you go? What? Are you in a tunnel? Are you? Hello? Okay, alright. Seat belts. Nobody gotta go to the bathroom, right? Okay, here we go. Nick, we already know about you and mom.
transportation. Step 2, the financial base and telecoms. Step 3, you get rid of all the utilities. Gas, water, electric, nuclear, pretty much anything that's run by computers. Which, which today is almost everything. So that's why they call it a fire sale. Because everything must go. Hey, L, listen, listen. What's your name? Carol, keep your voice down. Okay, no one here's talking about a fire sale. Not unless you're telling me you helped plan one. Scoffs, what? No, man, I'm just saying. To explain appreciate your concern. We know what we're doing. We're on it. Thank you. Yeah, you've done a bang up job so far. What? I, what? Nothing. I get. I said I understand. Hey, they didn't send the Girl Scouts out to get this kid. They sent professional guys full tactical gear. They blew the whole joint up. Now, look, I don't know this kid. And frankly, I don't give a shit. No offense, but somebody wants this kid dead. And obviously, it's got something to do with whatever is going on here. Okay, Homeland's taking over. The interrogation of the hackers we're bringing in. I'll get you an escort over there. All right, Molina, get this kid to the front of the line. I want to know what he knows. Molina, right. If that guy knew half the shit that I know, his fuzzy little head would explode. Special Agent Johnson, we'll take the sedan. Agent Johnson, that's right. Right this way. Great. So, is any of that actually possible? What you were saying back there, is it possible? Here, look, I'm gonna tell you again. You take out any one thing, the system can recover, right? If you take it all down at once, the system crashes and look around, man. Come on, government's got to have dozens of departments dedicated to that shit. It took FEMA five days to get water to the Superdome. Car engine starting, clamoring, car horns honking, indistinct radio chatter. How long till we get to DHS? Laughlin, get on the DC police band and get them to clear a route to DHS for us. DC Metro, this is the FBI, requesting you to clear a route. Garbled voices, Carol just resurfaced on the grid. Feds are taking him to Homeland. Good, close that loop now. Isolate the frequency. Get us a location on the vehicles and pull me up a file on this John McClane. Woman, over radio, I'm being oversensitive for a change. To geniuses, you know what? Sometimes it helps to get out of here, just for an hour or so. Hey, Milo, Brian, just dropped off my resume. Nearly got in the door. You're living up here now. I'm systems administrator at the local public access station, where any whack job with 100 bucks gets his own show. God, does it suck? Can you help me? Put it a word. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, well, I'm parked illegally. Okay, they pushed up the schedule on all the Synapse applications. How fast are you going? There is no second place. Plus, every time I get jammed up, Gary comes up with something. Did Gary give you a new design or something? Yeah, I must have offended him, cause he, he yelled at me. People don't ever just and you stuff. Maybe once. I reconfigured it anyway. Your compulsive moments, precious moments that you want to hold, that you want to share, at home, at school, at work, you'll keep in touch with the ones you love through Synapse. The first satellite delivered global communication system. Share live voices, music, pictures, or video, data or text with anyone, anywhere, instantly. Look, Daddy, Synapse links every communication devices on the planet because every moment matters. I think I have a problem. I think you do. Hi, honey. Hi, I didn't expect. Ah, uh, Lisa, this is my, this is Alice. Lisa is doing the user interfaces for Synapse. Hi, uh, Milo tells me you're a really great artist. Oh, uh, well, he exaggerates. Well, I've got a lot to do. It was nice to meet you. How are you? I'm so surprised. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to come out. That's it. There's no front plate. Where's the other side? I don't have it. What was that on the front window? Go back, 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 back. There. Zoom in. That's a permit. Track it and find her. I'll light a fire. Chris, one little problem. Oh, no, no. I'm going to sleep in the car. Okay, here. Thanks. Sure. Hey, did you hear the joke about the Zen master who ordered the hot dog? No. He said he'd have one with everything. Good night, good night. What do we have? They're at the cliffhanger motel outside Flagstaff. We found an Arizona dot foreman who remembered the land cruiser. Why would he do that? The road was flooded. He was about to suggest a place to stay, but Johnson already knew. Right, exactly. Kelly, it just got worse. All right, people, we've got a nuclear alert. Code red in the Southern California region. LA to San Diego. 95% certainty. Nuclear emergency search teams are on the way, but until they get here, can somebody please tell me what my agency, the FBI, is doing about it? Sir, Tier 1 suspects have been interrogated. Cars and premises have been checked. Friends and acquaintances. We've opened up surveillance on Tier 2 and 3 suspects, but nothing actionable yet. Oh, is that what we're doing? Waiting for something actionable? There are 8 million lives that are precarious at best. I say we widen the net to slight problem with my MasterCard. Okay, I, uh, I, uh, lost it and I found it again. And I'm afraid in my losting and finding, I, um, somebody might have used my card or, okay, what's the account number? Okay, I did punch that in earlier. I'm sorry, I just, I, I am nervous about the whole situation. Is there the proper, I don't know the etiquette in this situation. I just want to make sure that no one spent any money so far. I don't have money to burn. Okay, uh, but there's nothing. I'm clean for now. Yes, um, everything is fine. Yeah, I'm sorry to sound panicked. That's okay. What's your name? My name is Jeanette. Nice to meet you. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up. Okay, that's fine. I'll cut up my card then, A.N. Um, get a new one going. Right? Yes, you will. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, groans. That shouldn't be there. Rico, I don't want to be a dick, but that could hurt somebody. It already did hurt somebody. It hurt me. Let's please move that. Sustained note. Random notes. He's wearing that goddamn suit again. I don't know why he's wearing that suit. He doesn't usually dress like that. It's fine. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you wearing that suit again? I don't know. Ha, ha. Remember me? I left my car yesterday. Yes, I do. This is Lena. She's a good friend from work. We were in the neighborhood. She had to pick up her car. We're getting breakfast before we go in. Want to go? We're gonna eat. Let's go. Yeah, I can't. What? I have to work. I have to stay here. Seriously? Oh, we're going to eat. I said, I'm sorry. It's okay. That's all right. What is that? Are you learning to play the piano? Butters, that's not a piano. Shout slants. Yeah, remember, we have to call that guy in Toledo. Which guy? I'll tell you later. You don't want to come eat with us. Man, telephone, Barry, online too. What's all that pudding? I don't know. I'm gonna talk to you in a I'll come if you take my mom, too. She has no money, so we'll have to go somewhere cheap or you'll have to treat us. Listen, don't beat about the bush, Marcus. Why should L? We're poor. You're rich. You pay. Bring your little boy. I don't mind. That's really big of you. Fine. Come round at 1230 or something. Remember where we live. Flat 231. Craze Field Road, Islington, London, and 12 SF. England, the world, the universe. Marcus. Yeah, Will. Marcus. So, Fiona, how are you? I mean, how are you feeling? My stomach's fine. Great. I must still be a bit barmy, though. This kind of thing doesn't go away overnight, does it? No. Marcus, if mom was going to get
On my start, we're looking for item number seven. Survivors ready? Go. All right, Brandon. Peel it back. Go. All right, Brandon. Peel it back. This way. Let's see what you got. You got it. A leaf and a seed pod. You're good. Peel it back. No, that's wrong. Rank. You're done. You're good. You're good. Sorry, Kim. You're missing the leaf. You're good. You're good. You're missing the seed pod. You're out. Really? Probst? Yep. Shoot. Probst. You're good. Here we go, guys. Next item. Number two. Survivors ready? Go. All right, Brandon. That's right. Elephant dung. Nice job. Thank you. Probst. You're still alive. Let's see what you got. Helly. No, it wasn't a rock. I know what it was, too. Probst. Oh, Lex. Size does matter. No, that's wrong. I'm sorry, Teresa. You're out. Probst. Big Tom. You've seen that before. Yep, you're good. All right, Ethan. Yeah, Brandon, Lex, Tom, Ethan, or our final round. I have a whole new barrel of items. I want you to come in close. Take a look. You guys have 15 seconds to study these items. I've four, three, two, one. Head back to your barrels. Okay, guys, on my start, you have exactly one minute to find as many of the items as you can. The person back with the most items wins immunity and cannot be voted out at tonight's tribal council. Survivors ready? Go. You have one minute. You want to grab some, put them in and go back out. You can shove them in your pocket. Whatever works for immunity, guys. Pick it up. 30 seconds. You'd better hustle. Brandon, if you got them, get them in. Hurry up, Big Tom. Start wrapping it up. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3. Get it in the barrel. 2, 1. That's it. You're done. All right, Brandon. Open that baby up. Let's see what you got here. You got 1, 2. You got 3, 4. You got 5. Brandon has 6. 6 is the number to beat. You got 2. You got 3. You got 4. You got 5. Sorry, Lex.